What's up, Chicago? Gigi, you had to walk like that. Gigi wanted y'all to see her butt. <laughs> she looking like Elsa with all her ice on. Y'all know people gave me free crazy. clothes. People gave me free clothes for this, for this tour. I had to show it off, the merchandise. <laughs> well, first of all, y'all know this is a big night for us, right? <laughs> That's right. This is our last show. It's been a lip service tour. We started, I think, October 28th. Yeah. And so we've been on the road this whole entire time, you know, turning our underwear inside out. No. no I'm Angela. Kidding. Oh my God. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Y'all know gross. I don't even wear panties, so that don't... <laughs> you know panties. that's a lie. <laughs> Angela, did you really do that? Of course not. I bought new underwear constantly. <laughs> and, you um, know, all the jokes come from the truth somewhere. Okay. No, I, sm I smell L'Oreal, so I just have to... Never. Do it <laughs> <laughs> I, but I do, you know, I've been getting laser hair removal. There's a little bit of hair... That's peeking back in, so I can't wait to take care of all that. <laughs> Listen, I'm just being honest, right? How many people here wax? Okay, you said you do laser. Who does laser? Me. Only oh. a couple of y'all. Y'all better give the times. How Mine many, was free, girl. Mine how many of y'all just shave? I heard a guy say that. A guy I said, shaved. I just shaved. Shout out to you for manscaping. <laughs> While y'all laughing, there's a whole lot of y'all out there, men, that need to be manscaping. Right. Okay? And how many of y'all just Turn let it down grow? down motherfucking forest, because we don't want to see that shit. You said how many people how many let, just it let it grow? How many just let it grow? Bow, oh, chicka, oh, bow, it's bow. Only a man. Only a man. You know y'all need a manscape, though. That's not fair to us. We don't want to be down there getting hair stuck, hair in, our stuck in our throat and all in our tongue while we trying to suck dick. That ain't yeah. appeasing. Oh and then when God. it's warm out, it'd be a little funky. <laughs> oh all right. I can't suck a dick that's not manscaped. It has to be manscaped. She got standards. Yeah, I do. <laughs> dick sucking standards. If I'm sucking it, I got the right to tell it what to do. <laughs> what about the little taint area, like, in between? Does that have to be? Trimmed at least. Okay, hair doesn't grow there. Yeah, there's not really hair in that hair. What if it is? There. What if they're just really hairy? It hair, the hair uh, grows maybe. around the booty hole. But what about hair on the back? Ugh. A big Ooh. old carpet on the back? Yeah. And on the shoulders right here? He got to go get that laser wax. But some people like hairy men, right? Like hair on... No? I like not hairy men. Hair. I like hair on the chest. I'm not, I'm not mad do? at it. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I got a hot all right. But just make sure those are razor bumps if he tells you those are razor bumps. Okay? <laughs> oh my you got to inspect that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're so excited to get the show started. You know, we got an amazing lineup here in Chicago. We had to show out because it's our last show. <laughs> and y'all so hyped. So let's get it started. We got the legend in the building, Shauna. Hey. <laughs> Gigi, you acting funny. I don't have no drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you had drinks. one before. See, this what happened was I made you one in the back and your alcohol. She come to Shot Town, don't know she how to come act. in here all glittery, can't make a drink. Exactly. Her I arm's probably heavy. Come on, Shauna. <laughs> oh, she's like, hold on, I'm supposed to come out. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> Shauna and I have the same exact birthday. Shut January 3rd. Shout out to all the Capricorns. Oh, hey. Y'all lying. Y'all ain't all Hey, everybody. <laughs> Well, first of all, thank you, Shauna, for joining us. This is amazing for us. This is also, like we were saying downstairs, boot up weather, kind of, right? Yes, definitely cuddle weather. <laughs> thank you, ladies, so much for having me. I'm thank so you excited. for coming. Congratulations we on love the finale. Y'all have been doing y'all thing. We have all been watching, haven't we? Yeah. Yes, don't we love lip service? Here, <laughs> slut. Ladies, empowerment. Who are you talking yes. to? You turned your head real quick. Bitch. You okay. see how she talking to me? I turned too, though. <laughs> what you drinking? Oh, yeah, you was like, like, slut. Shauna said, I drink vodka. I said, cool, that's the, cool, that's the same thing as tequila. So. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's not. We need the pineapple juice, please. Pineapple? We are fancy up here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start it off with a lip service top five, and you're going to give us your top five answers. You guys can yell out your answers, too. What are the top five things that you hide when you're in a relationship? Uh-oh. Finance? Uh. Yep. My money. <laughs> like, uh, I don't want you to know that I have this much. My money. Your jewelry when they come to your house. <laughs> <laughs> My phone. Uh, you had your phone? <laughs> okay, Shauna. Yeah, because you know you get them phone calls. You know, 
niggas be thinking they could call you randomly and FaceTime you randomly. You might be in the mood, mm-hmm. in the moment, and boom, here comes such and such. That's why you got to put it on airplane mode. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What's wrong with do not do disturb? Do not disturb. Do not yeah. disturb is fire. Do not disturb. You can set the times and yeah, everything. And you That's can pick, made. You can pick who can <laughs> reach you and who can. It's made for a cheater. Yeah. Have you ever had a guy go through your phone? Yeah. <laughs> I told yeah. y'all guys go through phones, too. Yeah, yeah, I had a guys go through phones. Oh, guys yeah, more do. than women, exactly. That was more than we break do. Up. Like, you gotta be fucking stupid. <laughs> what did he find? Uh-uh. Everything. <laughs> Everything he was looking for. Am I lying? Do we go through phones? When you go through a phone, you know you're going to find what you're looking for. You're going to get your feelings hurt. Yeah. That's why it's something I would never do. I don't do that. I don't go looking for it because it's never. there. It's there. Never in your life. You never it's went there. through a phone. No, that's how I learned. Oh, I was about yeah. to say. Like, like, that's how I never do it. Crushed. Except for that one time. Girl, <laughs> I was dead. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Ain't it? That's a real heartbreak when you yeah. can't eat or sleep, but then you be happy you lost weight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm heartbroken, yeah. but I look kind of good. I look good. Go get that new boo. <laughs> Waist all snatched and shit. <laughs> got to be like, I need to be depressed more often. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all <are> crazy. <laughs> but you know when he leave the phone out and guys do this, like they go to get in the shower, they leave their phone in the bed, they just looked at it, it's open for like two more seconds. And there's that time when you're yeah, like... Angela crazy. There's that time when you're like, should I look at it? Yes, I was yeah. on, no. Hell no. All my that's niggas need that The last time I looked through a phone, that's how it happened. Face it was down. that, that yeah. quick <laughs> minute, they go that to the 30 seconds. And, their teeth yes. and, you're like, mm. and it's still... <laughs> I've never seen a screensaver, a ring, or nothing. It is always the apple on the back. That's right. all I ever <laughs> see. <Upside down. laughs> but girls are crazy because, you know, they do stuff like while he sleep, they put the little face identity, they put the phone. Does that work if his eyes I are closed? I thought your eyes had I to be I never open. tried it. Uh, I don't think so. Let's yeah, try it now. Your eyes have to be Does open. anybody have it on their phone? Can you I do it with your eyes closed? Uh, you got to be open, right? You're going to be opening them shits with your two fingers like... <laughs> now I know some of y'all are young but do you remember the Motorola two way pagers and how easy it was oh, yeah. mm-hmm. to get somebody's passcode on that yeah you no. said what don't take no I'm sorry I don't care that used to be the best cause all you had to do was be yeah. like lost my password forgot password and it'll send it right to the um, to the Motorola and it'll pop up <laughs> That's why so would that make up. sense, though? Why would they even do it? It didn't like make that. sense. That's why they extinct. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I'm right. I'm so glad they got rid of that shit. <laughs> All right, so here's our. Oh, you didn't tell me the rest of things you would hide. You just said finances. Okay, finances. And your phone. My phone. Um, damn. I don't know. Your side I, I mean, booth. You know what? Honestly, y'all, I'm so independent and I take care of my own shit so much. I'm not hiding shit from a nigga. Nigga, you won't find it. Yeah, you ain't taking care of me. So whatever you find is what I got. So. Would you tell, like, all the guys you've been with before him? No. no. What if it's somebody he knows? No. Hell no. We're taking that to I the I made grave. that mistake, y'all. It haunted me for 10 years. <laughs> what, you told about someone he yes. knew? Yes. Well, guys I thought, don't get over I that, thought that he knew the person because they were in the same industry. But come to find out, after I told him myself like a dumbass, they ain't even know we got to him. Uh, oh, tricky. <laughs> they ain't know each other. Like but they're name. both, like, famous. So, of course, they knew of each other. That shit, he never let me wear it down. Angela was there. Oh, my God, yeah, was I? During a time when I got caught up. Let me tell you, you know what is the worst? When your friends, like, when your, your homegirl is fighting with her man in front of you in a restaurant? <laughs> yes, it is. Wasn't Sorry I to all my too? friends that I've done that to. That was a different time. That was when I threw the hookah. Oh, she threw no, a, no, no. Uh, hook there, burning coals on him. I was there that time. I was there when that I threw the hookah. Time. Yeah, that was there that time. Pass me the hookah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The most awkward thing is when Gigi used to fight. Oh you my, mean. it was awful. It was every time. You know when you was going out with Gigi and her boyfriend that they was going to end up arguing? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to tell got, you, right? the, the worst time. <laughs> before we were, Let me tell you the worst time we was at a restaurant. And they got into a huge argument. It was over the guy, right? And they <laughs> left the restaurant. That's how bad it was. And he ain't paid his part of the bill. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? They got into a fight and left and didn't pay their part of the bill. He petty as hell. You know he good for it, Angela. <laughs> that was I fake. Didn't, no, I didn't know. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even know that happened. I know, but it was funny. And I was like, damn, he ain't going to pay. 
Somebody gonna try that gay. now. They like, yo, when we get to the end of the mail, just act like you oh, mad as hell. We gonna storm out, <laughs> and, and, we gonna, and we just gonna leave them with the whole okay. bill. And we gonna just go. So I'm gonna go after anything. anything. We leaving them with the whole bill. Get that okay, so baby. Let me ask you this: If your man embarrass you again in a fight in public, are you supposed to follow him and leave the restaurant? No, hell no. I'm leaving. Hell I'm nah. leaving on my own. Me? <laughs> I'm just saying or would you say with your girls see I'm, tr I'm trying to change my ways I've been kind of aggressive and a fighter so ain't no embarrassing me I'm gonna fuck you up we both gonna be embarrassed in this bitch <laughs> Ain't no embarrassing me. And like I when you said earlier, when you with your girls and you start fighting with your guy, no, my girls is going to look at this nigga like, okay, motherfucker, you three of us. Like, you was, know we here, We right? pulling all them dreads out. We, but he was always we going more in your embarrassed pockets. than I was. <laughs> I ain't give a fuck anytime we got into anything. Right. Everybody else was like, oh, God, what the fuck? And I just was like, come on now, nigga, whatever. That shit ruined the whole entire night. I was never embarrassed about it. I used to tell him, I used to be like, can y'all not fight tonight? I just want to have a good time. <laughs> One time they got in an argument, I got my concert ticket taken away. <laughs> Two weeks later, Damn, I'm like, what the fuck Maria? did I do? I don't know. Was he that? was mad at her and what? took my concert oh, oh, ticket oh, away. Remember, I, remember. I was like, what the fuck? This bitch is crazy. You better make up with this nigga. Like, I'm F trying to go to the show, bitch. FYI, <laughs> FYI, so Gigi right? sitting here thinking, I miss him. <laughs> no, the fuck I'm not. You know damn well I don't miss that nigga. Uh -huh. Now, Shauna, have you ever been embarrassed in public with a guy? Has he ever done something and you've been like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Like, yes. shut up. Yes. And it's always the little dick niggas that do shit like that. Child. You know what I'm saying? Big dick niggas be so cool. They yeah. be chill. They don't give a fuck because they got a bunch of bitches waiting right. to fuck them anyway. Little dick niggas always chihuahuas. They all speaking ah, a little. Ah, they want to fight. You be surprised. Dick. I know some speaking big dick niggas dick. that don't shut the fuck up too. Even <laughs> 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 it's not only in, in my observation I'm just saying well they do say that guys how many of y'all been with a guy with a little dick before it don't lie uh, unfortunately everybody unfortunately. had a little guy I've been with a guy with a little Everybody dick Everybody had a little, but you don't know. You don't know until it's you there, and it's like, He's shit, dead. do you just cut it off, or you keep going? You cut it off. You, How many of y'all cut it off? Cut it off? You, no, you don't cut it off. You ain't off. see this size. Yeah. I'm not doing this shit. It was real, 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 real small, y'all. Like, what real, 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 real small. My little dick boyfriend, I used to make him put it in my butt. Okay. No. <laughs> I would have like given him the I had to feel it one way or another. Finger. Fuck it. I used to be like, come on, uh, you know you want this ass, nigga. <laughs> it ain't gonna we hurt. We can fuck on the period and everything. Come on, let's put it in my butt. If he has a little dick, it won't break your hymen. So if you have a period, <laughs> uh oh, T.I. <laughs> Still intact. <laughs> How many of y'all got with a guy, saw you had a little dick, and then was like, change your mind? Expeditiously. Expeditiously. <laughs> Expeditiously. So y'all mean to tell me y'all go looking for your panties and put your shit back on and get the fuck up out of there because the dick was little? Y'all Definitely. Do? But how do you, so you fuck them out of sympathy? That's what, no, that would I'm definitely mean. be a sympathy uh, fuck. Yeah, that yeah. is. That's a sympathy <laughs> fuck for Take sure. Take one by the team. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your little cute little dick ass over here. <laughs> no. They say y'all know how to work it. No, 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 no. The little dick niggas like to fuck like hard and fast yeah. like <laughs> because they think like that's, they're gonna make you feel it, it. <laughs> like they're like I'm gonna make this bitch feel it one way they like, to, they like to slap that's their balls like, oh, like the pendulum it's awful oh my god <laughs> uh, yeah you know what else too guys with small dicks they don't try to like pressure you to have sex too quick yeah. Nah. No. No. They, 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 they want to wait for you first. They want to wait for you. You be like, he is so nice. Nah, he's not even there. They be sweet. They so nice. They, they make you for hours. They make they, you they fall in love. They eat you to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, baby. We can it, fuck It gets later. to the point where you be like, it wanting to initiate yourself. Like, right. damn. It's okay, baby. I'm going to jump so on nice. it. I'm going to wait till I give you this big dick. He doesn't even try it. Right. And then you can't ride him because if you go up too high and come back down. it's going to pop out. You got to grind And then you come down too hard and it stab you. You got to ride it like, oh, soft and just bounce on it. You can't jump up. You can't let it come all the way out. You got to move a little. 
so you ain't even get that mother. shit back in. You be like, fuck, just move to the side. Damn. But there's some good things about it, right? Because it's the easiest dick to suck. It's definitely uh-uh. easy. That's been like a champion. Day. I no. do this shit with no effort. And I said I wasn't gonna go too hard on the dick. No. Super head on the little so. dick. Y'all have his dick balls down there, his asshole his all in your throat, <laughs> stomach, pelvis, yeah. belly button. You guys all ass. He's sucking his dick and looking his thigh at the same time. <laughs> what? No, I never thought that. <laughs> You, like, you want me to deep throat this? Oh, hell no. What the fuck? That's <laughs> Got you. crazy. No problem, no problem. <laughs> deep throat all day. You must fuck with a little dick nigga because I hit home she for you. She sounds too experienced. All right? In the audience. <laughs> you see him with the next bitch, you be laughing at her like... Like, you stressed over that. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. Yeah, with that little ass bitch. Uh, you nice, uh, if you're a nice person, don't you don't bring it out. Because in an argument, when you fuck with a guy with a little dick, you can't bring it up in the argument. Because it's like, he That's like, the first thing you say. I still what fuck you, you. You can't bring yeah. it up. No, because as soon as you say what your little dick ass, he going to be like, yeah, and yo, when bitch, you, and bitch, you was all over really this little not, dick. That's yeah. that's you true. ain't say that when you was sucking this little dick. Lady. I felt bad for it. I promise you. <laughs> you I ain't say that when his little dick was in your asshole, bitch. You can't talk to me like that with that little bitty dick. Am I right? Niggas got, like, if niggas want to be aggressive with you, they can't be aggressive with a little guy. Shit. You you like that? I Cause the, you gotta the, back the it up with some fucking. The little dick I ever had was the toughest. That's why he yeah, did it. They me be too. tough, but I'm just saying. Okay, so now we done fought, we done argue, now we fucking, and it's just. <laughs> it's just little dick. You know what I'm saying? I think the nigga gonna knock me down. You know right. what I'm saying? Make knock me shut up with that motherfucker. <laughs> Now you gotta say something like, my last nigga dick was bigger. Ooh. I feel like that'll make him matter than his dick. I just thought of it, but it's genius. And what if he said me too? Let me write that one down. I'm gonna take that from you. I, I hope Let I remember that. But gonna, you know what I said? You can't cheat on a guy with a small dick, but you can't cheat with a guy with a small Absolutely. dick. Absolutely. Because if you cheat on day. him, he's gonna know because it'll be stressed out. But you can he can be a side piece because he'll never know. It ain't gonna stress out. He won't nothing. know either way. Right. You gotta snap Come that pussy. Back. Yeah. <laughs> like, Kegels, <laughs> like, he's not gonna, it doesn't matter. Snap that motherfucker. But we back. do have somebody else that said they wanted to come see you too, Shauna. Oh, yeah. We got a surprise, don't we? Yeah. A little surprise We're guest. Shit. And she's here right now. Chicago. 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 This is a friend of yours too. Yes. As indeed. well as ours. Sydney Starr is here with us. Yes. Sydney hey. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> She's doing so, how y'all doing? <laughs> What's up, Sydney? Hi, everybody. Hey, Boothie. Hello. Hey. Y'all watched her on Love and Hip Hop, right? <laughs> y'all know I'm extra as fuck, so how you doing? <laughs> What's your little dick experiences? <laughs> um, Me, myself. I had a little... She always oh, say it's little. She always say that. Oh, she yeah. always First say it's little. Uh-huh. To my man, no, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> was not blessed. No, I wasn't. I was not blessed, honey. I was just blessed, you know, to look very cute, you know, before my transition or whatnot. And baby, God said, no, you're not going to be blessed down in that department. So let's Let's make you the woman that you're supposed to be. Okay. All right. All, right. <laughs> All right. So we were talking about the top five things that you would hide in a relationship. We only got to a couple of them. So what are some things that you would hide in a relationship? Um, me being a trans. Nah. Let I don't me feel yes. No. 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 I feel everybody. Yeah. That, that was all. 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 That well, at first in a relationship would be um, because I, I like to eat ass. I okay. like to eat niggas' asses. And sometimes that might scare Where's niggas all my ass eaters in the room? If I, uh, See, oh, now y'all want to be shy. I'm the queen. Oh, no, so y'all can do it. 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 Angela, no, no, you know what well, I'm the queen of. Me and Cindy ain't the only ones I, in this room that be sucking niggas' ass. She asked the wrong way. Y'all you know, know like anybody that, that know me, I'm the queen of sucking <laughs> dick from the back. 
girl. Okay. Guess what? I learned sucking dick from the back. I learned that on lip service. Yes. From me. I learned that on lip service. Yes, I did. Who Show taught you? Any comments? Who taught you? It was, it was, oh, it was I ain't going back there yeah, back yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was wow. the only in the back. I still haven't done that. My ass is the only ass in this bed tonight. It's amazing. So does he have to be on his stomach? He yeah, can he be can on be his on stomach. His, he can be on his different ways. Side. They can do it. You he can, can be, be on, on all fours. My boyfriend would not be on style, his damn stomach. Doggy style, all that. busting that thing. Oh, they like that shit too. <laughs> they see it. That's oh where their pockets be. You know, when, when he's you on his prostate, stomach, it's good. You can't suck dick from mm-hmm. the back and hit the prostate. Yes, you can. It's a girl. You definitely can. Look, and and baby, ladies, if you're gonna do it, I'm just giving y'all a little advice. Make sure he keeps it hairy. Because it has to be hairy. No. no. I don't yeah. want to shave ass. You have to keep it hairy, okay? I don't know. Why? Why? I thought she was going to say make sure he keep it clean. She going to say make sure he keep it hairy. What do you mean? Not even <laughs> trash? Make love, sure that motherfucker I love clean my before werewolves. you get a surprise, no. bitch. I love my werewolves. Okay, I like a man that's I don't know very about hairy. That. But let me ask you this. If have he shaves, it's a fool. Being that you like to eat ass so much, have you ever ate an ass and it was a little shitty? Oh, come on, Angela. What? She has. Um, okay. Let me be real, because this is what we're supposed to do here on this show, right? Please. We be real as fuck. Okay. No shade. It probably, you know, not the look of it, but maybe the smell. But, um, you know, it was because he just got off work or whatnot. No, just see what I work. say. Make just sure say you and, clean. Y'all know just don't say, say make like sure that. that is but wait a minute. I, we're not done yet. Well, wait a minute. It kind of um, it kind of turns me on when a man has like a, a manly smell to him. Me too. Him. Like, like I like the like manly, manly yes. today. Shitty oh, niggas man. like I that like shit, like especially Sydney. niggas out of jail. Sydney, darling, there's a big difference between manly and shitty. Okay, there's a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big difference. I like my men to smell fresh out the shower. Make Girl. sure he scrub a dub dub and wash that asshole twice. Okay. See, I don't want y'all. I don't want y'all to look at me like I'm a nasty bitch or whatnot. But it's Too just late. something. Too late, boo. <laughs> Wait. We so. still love you though, girl. Let me tell you, we ain't smoking after it. Sydney. No. <laughs> look. Let me tell y'all. Y'all don't keep your man. It's so many bit baby. A lot of females say they would never do nothing like that. But my thing is, get a little freaky for your nigga. Let him know that you'll do the unthinkable. Because, baby, the if you ain't going to do it, he going to find another bitch huh. like myself that will suck that dick from the back <laughs> with no problems, honey. Oh, God. Okay, let me ask you this. If your man is a little uptight, right, and every time you try to do little fun experimental things, he don't want to do it, how do you get him to open up and be more experimental? Get him drunk. I Get agree. him drunk, baby. Put something in his drink. You know like, that. No, 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 it's not rape, it's your man. No, no but you like you're crime. You're drugging him. Crime. Don't, don't drug, drug him. Don't drug. She's drugging someone that's drunk. Just drunk him. Don't drug him. We can't slip nothing in nobody's chest. Yeah, no, that is Please no. don't do that. No, 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 no That's no, a crime, no, no. guys. We, we can't do <laughs> that. Disclaimer, Sydney. <laughs> right. Look, I know y'all in the audience saying, this bitch is nasty. And I am. I'm sorry. I am very nasty because I love, I think I'm an info. Okay. I definitely yeah. think I'm an info. I think so. <laughs> but my thing sure. is, you know, I will say this, and I've told Angela this millions of times. I'm a bitch that straps up. I don't do nothing without a condom. I suck dick with condoms, too. So I don't head. even I don't even <laughs> give dick sucks raw because I just love to stay, you know, clean. I don't want to have to worry about That's hitting right, the um, Keep it clinic pure. tomorrow. I've never sucked a dick with a condom on. I've never. How did that work? Who in the air has sucked a dick with a condom on? What does it taste like? I've never done that. You gotta use a flavor condom. (laughs) You gotta use a flavor one. As a matter of fact, if we have sex, I'm not even gonna suck it after you take the condom off. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, because it tastes nasty. That's how I know what a condom tastes like from sucking dick after taking the condom off. Have you ever had a condom stuck inside you? Uh, Yeah. In her throat? You be nervous as hell, like, ooh, where'd it go? You be like, where'd the condom go? That's the most embarrassing shit to be in the emergency room for, yeah. No, I ain't got no fever. I just need you to get this rub out. Look, let me tell y'all how true of a freak bitch I am. Y'all see this purse right here? Let me tell y'all what I keep on me on uh-uh. all time. Oh my God. 
Jesse, what's, what's in your purse? What you finna pull out this motherfucker? I'm scared. Oh, oh, oh my God. Because I didn't know what the fuck was about to come out this motherfucker. This, back. my ladies, is what you call KY jelly, water-based. Water-based, This is bitches. what you no, use fire, even when fire. you regular have sex. This is not just for anal. This is for regular sex because it keeps you wet, baby. It keeps you wet. I don't need wet. it. I, Me I don't, neither. I'm not even gonna lie. And I'm not judging nobody. Some women need it. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> they said, what else you got in there, Sydney? Yeah, what else is in your purse? Yeah, what, I what know. Keep in going. This is dripper. <laughs> this is entertaining. Thanks what so. else? You already I know I got something so. else in here. Yeah, uh, can somebody hold... Here? Yeah, hold no, no, no. Oh, oh, hold it, because what you else worry. you got in this oh, damn yeah. bag of tricks? <laughs> you got some condoms, yeah. Shona? Do I? Who? Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Shona. Oh, okay. Sydney, I'm sorry. That's she Sydney. said who? She does have. Like, I don't have a bag. Oh, of those are dick sucking condoms. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Do y'all think I'm playing with you, hoes?" I yes, condom. I got one, but this is the one for the dick suck. The flavored one. Oh, it's a. It looks like it's flavor. watermelon. What flavor yeah, it's, you like? It's got like a banana taste. Oh, banana. Oh. Does anybody want to taste bananas. this kind of? This one right here oh. is when I get fucked in my butt. When I get fucked. But in what's my the butt. difference? Tell me the difference. Why is that one for being fucked in your butt? Because the other one is flavored. This one is flavored. Okay. This is the flavor. My, so that's the candy my ass condom. already got a nice flavor taste that's to it. That's the candy it. condom. So <laughs> this one we can use this for the fucking. So we, got we need a banana so somebody could come suck what it this tastes like, condom and see what it tastes like. Because I ain't doing it. <laughs> There's a banana in the in the green room. Does anybody want to volunteer to taste this condom? Who's want to taste the condom? It's Nobody on a banana. To the it's some condom taste. Yeah, bitches I see. A, I see your arm up over there. You, you trying to like you want to taste the condom? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you wasn't fixing your hair. Come on, come on. You want to do it? Come on, you wasn't fixing your hair. Come on. She was like. Look, baby, it she ain't like, that bad. Now they send nobody else throw their hand up, so she uh -uh. got a little nervous. I'll, let, I'll put it on my finger. You can put the condom on my finger and then do it like that. Who's going to do that? And I'll put it in your yeah. mouth like that. And i put it in your mouth. <laughs> You Nobody just tell them you eat shitty ass. They're not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. These titties. If I could have came on stage topless, I would have. Y'all well, we know, know I would have. This is all I love ages, showing so these we got to relax. <laughs> I love showing these titties. But it's some, you know what? I don't want to offend nobody in the audience because I know it's some, you know, niggas in the audience too. <laughs> I don't want to make y'all feel uncomfortable, but sorry, I'm just that freaky hoe. Now, I want to say, Sydney, they ain't close. They freaky hoe. I want to say, freaky hoe. Now, Sydney, I know you get the craziest right. DMs. I've actually seen her DMs mm. before. She has DMs. Remember the uh, the uh, contact I had in it? The contact was uh, bus. Nigga bus. Because he bust so hard, I got his name under nigga bus. <laughs> so... <laughs> What y'all think about that? You like shooters or you like He busts hard now. I like you know, when they go I like when they make that oh like to see a shooter yeah. yeah. shoot yeah. 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 noise when they come. Yeah. I think most guys I are drippers, sure. right? Right. They just it just kinda of yeah. volcano. Yeah. I, I like the volcanic eruption personally. So I like that too. <laughs> you know y'all yeah. see this phone right here. You know what's funny? I told one of my best friends today, I said if something ever happened to my ass. Delete Burn all this that bitch shit. because it's so much nasty shit in this phone. <laughs> you would not. She you said, baby. pass it. This phone, I said, look, you have to you, 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 you put this shit in the pit of fire. Well, Angela, Wasn't the it Sydney who showed Angela, us the video of the guy sucking the, his own dick? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. She showed us that at lip service in her episode. Yes. Isn't that crazy? Look, I, what, if, what if you were having, okay, Shauna, what if you were making out with a guy <laughs> before you had sex? Shauna said, oh, oh, I'm going to oh, head out like 10 minutes ago. Shauna, what would you do if you started? Shauna probably never knew this about me because I've known Shauna for years. I was going to say, you girl, don't. What? Did, did you know this side of me? Uh, yeah. I didn't think you knew. On tour? I yeah. know, but I didn't know if you knew I was a freak like this. Yeah, everybody be talking. Well, what would y'all do if you were a guy to... and he started sucking his own dick? Leave. All right, I'm going to head out. I'm so happy. <laughs> I probably like I'm that. Out of here. here. The fuck, I'm here. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm deleting. Block, delete. Hell no. What Erase. if you were like, look, baby, I had my period. And he was like, nah, I got me. That's the nah, weirdest boo. shit. I am oh not going to start sucking nah. his own. Nah. Nah. Right through that, that shit, shit cause I got a story to tell like Biggie. I'm gonna get with my friends like yo. Yo, ain't this gonna nigga believe started that shit. sucking his own motherfucking right. dick. I'm Imagine and came in his face. 
Oh, uh, that was what my video did. That's what the video yep, that's did. That's what the video did. He came in. I tried to make one of my best friends, Nora, I tried to make her watch me suck dick. And she said, oh, I'm going to head on out. <laughs> Look, she, over there, no. she was no. drunk. You know how you with your friends and you get drunk and then you meet a nigga and you be wanting a little sh to be put on a show for your friend? No, no, no. no. Wait, no. no. That's no. me, baby. No. That's we can't relate. No. Sis. I gotta show my friends how to do it. Look, bitch, put on some clothes. I'm finna come get we you. You gonna watch sis. me suck no, my nigga no. dick. No. You no. know when you wanna get around your friend and suck a nigga dick? No. no. <laughs> I'm cool, Look. bitch. I'm gonna stay Look. in the crib. No. Before, before. So, did you? How long did you know you was into like what's that called? Voyage, voyeurism, voyeurism. <laughs> voyeurism. Is that how, what it's called? I don't know. It got somebody to watch. People to watch from porn. I, that's how I know it. Look. But um, so how long did you know you was into that? And so which one? Like when did you start doing that? Like, like having your friends you? come in? Oh, um, I think it started when. I became a porn addict. I was watching porn a lot. And then I used to always be like, I could do that. And so I'm like, you know, I'd get my phone. I said, I'm going to make my first one. And I sent it. I actually had a date. It was every Friday. I would put all my friends in a group text and I'll send it to everybody. I oh said, it's Freaky Sydney Friday. And I send them a video of me getting fucked that on. one friend. I would have been like, blocked. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Gigi McGuire Ask Nora. Herself from my, one of my best friends, Nora, is here. She will vouch for I used to send. It was every Friday. That every was Friday. Like Friday I would you look forward to. You would have got me one Friday, and by seven days later, I would have removed myself from the chat, bitch. I don't want to I probably would have watched it. Now, no. yeah, I would have stayed in the chat. Y'all rude as fuck. I would have stayed in the chat. I'd have been rude like, you like, like, in the dick. Even if I, I might be like, oh, here, here she Listen, is. Listen, I this crazy stuff. You want to be in this group chat. She might send a good it, clip one thing, day. Look, just because, you know, I'm transgender or whatever, I get dick. Niggas be blowing me up. They be I believe, ready. And that's what they I be said. Walking, I believe they, they may not they admit love it. That shit. They may I not believe fucking you. admit it. That's what I but said. But baby, I get dick. Cause when she and right. I get dick I by her, the I finest. I seen her DMs. The, the finest of uh -uh. the finest thug ass niggas. Yeah. But I'm not going to put nobody out because that's not me. That's not me. Well, you know, I know a lot of people know you know from that Point out, says, I got some says. niggas in my phone. I need to show you and make sure. Right. <laughs> nah. Check these niggas I, off the list, I will okay? never give away Fuck nobody. Because that's the shit they be had. Right. When you asked her earlier. Uh, listen, I watch too much tranny porn not to believe you, girl. I believe you. Oh, shit. I watch I a lot of trans porn. You know what's crazy? That's not, it's not really I watch a, a lot of trans like. porn. I don't like to watch trans porn. I don't like it. I you, think one in four like men, I think the statistic is one in four men watch trans porn. It like you would. So I don't, I don't, want to see another I don't think that that's my problem. That I don't know. I don't want to see them I bitches. Just made it up. <laughs> I don't think my problem. I don't think the problem is not that you're trans and you're sending a video. It's, I don't want to see my fucking friends fucking. That's what it is. It don't matter who right. it is. I just don't want to see my friends. Because if I want to see my friends fucking, to me, that's like I want to fuck my friend. Man, I don't. I don't know. You can learn a lot from your friends. I, mean, I, I, wouldn't I don't want to know you we, like that. I don't, don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Yeah, like, like, like if we like, all, yeah, that's all know. good. My, my friends show me that's all good. Listen, this video Yeah, and I mean, there's was times. So good, it's I had not to like, share. it's not even something you plan. Like, there's times that you're with your friend and she's with her nigga. And they doing something Or you call them when they doing it. You call them on FaceTime when they in the doing it. Or something just happened. You should not be a couple of my you friends in the have sex. having sex. For sure. Your phone is on the bed, right? Sometimes no, you keep you your put phone it to on the, the bed. Side. <laughs> look, look. Y'all seen y'all friends have sex before? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, Shana, I want to get back to you, right? Let's talk about you and groupies. Because I know you've been on the road a lot. I know you've seen a lot. Yeah. So what are the male groupies like? They just be like, they think they can tell you, oh, I just want to eat that pussy. <laughs> and then they could get you, but it's like, you know, they want to fuck. Of they know course. they want to follow up with some dick, but they thinking just, if they say, I want to eat that pussy, that they going to get with you. But um, it really, a lot of times, honestly, these niggas be scared because it's like, I'm so aggressive, you know, in my persona that they think I'm going to be like, nigga, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I'm not really like that. How many, yeah, you know hey. that How many times did you fall for that, though? I, I you know I want to eat. That, I just want to eat that pussy. How many times did you that, fall for okay. that? Okay. Be honest. <laughs> uh, 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 carry the one. 
divided by six. <laughs> it's been a few. But you know, guys, it did. It did. The count worst over shit half is overseas. the worst shit is when you think that he gonna stick to it and he just gonna eat that pussy and then he try to hurry up and slide up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, he he trying to do that too. fish move. Yeah, that fish move when he's got it. That's a hit. And hurry up, stick the dick in. Nah, oh nigga. You said you was just gonna eat some pussy. And that's why they do it because they think that you are gonna like it so much you gonna want to have sex. No, nope. yeah, so that's they think, the game. I didn't think they didn't tell that pussy oh, it was some eating and now you want some dick. No, nigga, I just well, Shauna, can I tell you this? But no thanks. I don't go lie to y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I fuck my fans, okay? Cause I ain't gonna lie. Ever since I got on Love and Hip Hop. New York, I got a lot of male fans telling me, man, I was sitting watching this shit with my girl, and I looked, I'm like, that can't be a nigga, but you got my dick hard, though. <laughs> Look, so I fucks the fans. I might ask them to give me a little coin, though. I might ask them just to give me a little money, and then, like, I, how, like I, it's how just much? a little, just a little, little, like how much is a little, just a little, you know, food and gas money, you know. <laughs> Sending you like out that. here getting the 40. <laughs> She's so crazy. Oh, no, you out here getting the 40. Yeah, how much is that? I don't know no, how much that Sydney, is. No, you on TV. Oh, I mean, look, sometimes I fuck niggas for free. You gotta look at it that way. So. Don't we all? I mean, I'm just saying. No. So it's hit my at DM. least it's a If it's any fine niggas in here, don't be afraid to hit right. my DM. No. Sydney Star Bad. She is Sydney fucking. Star Bad with two R's. Two R's. Make sure you no, got that gas. No money. Y or I. Look, it hit fucking. my DM. I might try to get to you tonight. Hold your door. <laughs> She's a Chicago guy. Money. Sydney just plugged the shit out herself on lip service. Okay. Gas money records. <laughs> Take it over for the I don't do nothing but keep it real. I don't do nothing but keep this shit real. Because look, let me tell y'all, I used to be a lying ass bitch. I used to lie. And you know I used to lie. Because I was a go-go dancer here in Chicago for two, three years. Go-go dancing in the straight clubs, and then none of these motherfuckers know I was trans until some bitch from high school brought a yearbook picture. She said, some bitch, bitch from high school she said, y'all know picture. this bitch is a, y'all know this, this is, ooh, Bogan. Bogan High School. <laughs> she, she clocked Fuck my teeth. Fuck ass bitch. She clocked, clocked my, my teeth to them damn promoters that I was working at Zentra, where all them fucking clubs. I was getting it in, getting my coin. Then a bitch came. Hey, was. I, I remember was getting, you in your go, -go boots. I even was working back up for Shauna. Yes. I was back up dancing for Shauna on tour. Yeah, and dope. Shauna, I don't even think knew. But I, I knew. she said she I knew, knew, but she didn't say nothing. I knew when you came to my house to audition. Because you know who pulled me to the yeah. side and mm -hmm. said, girl. <laughs> But Shauna, I love what I love about Shauna. She kept it cute. She didn't yeah, say nothing. Hell nah. She let me she work. She still you. let me work. Yeah, we went on tour. I mean, I mean that one that ain't my place to tell nobody. Right. That's your business. And I love you for that. that. Episode of Pony. Now I'm out and I'm proud. I'm yeah, trans. Clip and I'm for proud. That. Clip for that. That's right. That's Unity, how you gotta right? be. Right. But like I said, any of you fine niggas in here, I can't really see because the light is hot. If fine <laughs> niggas hit the DM, turn the light on. Girl, they already on their phone. <laughs> She, she got some DMs right now, trust look, and believe. I but she's not gonna snitch on y'all, so. I don't promise even. I won't. I, l I know how to keep my shit on a low low. Girl, I'm so bad. Yeah, your shit dinging like it's a motherfucker. Right ding, right? ding, 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 ding. I we learned, see y'all, nigga. Look, let me tell y'all. <laughs> let me tell y'all, I learned my lesson from the Chingy situation. Okay, <laughs> I learned my goddamn lesson because that, that, that was um, some bullshit me. that I should have <laughs> never say, oh. did. That was some shit I should have never did, and I owned up to it. And I, you know, I'm human, so it's never, never that motherfucker serious to try to put a nigga on blast. So I, I'm, I apologize again on a big platform. They don't know what happened. They don't, they lost. Oh, I thought. Oh, we Wait, so Shauna, did you that. introduce them? No, 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 okay. no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I didn't mean to get the did connection. I, did, you, did you meet him because he was dancing for me? Or you met him on your before own? Before that. Oh, okay. But I, I'm going to leave it alone. But I'm just saying, I am I'm, I learned my lesson from the situation. And that's well, it. Well, he didn't even admit to fucking with Tiffany Haddish. Mm -hmm. So we got to watch out for him anyway. Sorry, Shauna, if y'all still cool. No, and, and she ain't <laughs> got to tell his own story, y'all. I ain't got nothing to do with I'm that. Just saying. like I ain't telling her shit. I ain't telling nobody else's shit. I tell but wait, but shit. Cindy, you said you made that up. I did. Okay, oh, yes. Which one? You I did. Up. She said no, she I'm did. just saying, you know, um, everything, you know, You I made up, up the chinky shit? Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> That's what she was 
talking about? I, I never done nothing Duh. with no celebrities in this industry ever. We gonna never, keep it never. like that. I'm like, you got something in your head? Me either. We gonna keep it me like either. that. Me either. Me either. I'm just saying, I learned <laughs> as a person being in the industry for a long time. I know if I do something with someone, that's our business and nobody else's. Now I'm confused. Unless we, unless we've agreed uh -huh. to say we we both openly did this. It's then, a secret society. Oh, All we I ask is she got a cease and desist. <laughs> I, I don't want to sign the NDA, bitch. Sign the NDA. And shit, we in Chirac, so it's a dangerous, you know, you know how Chirac is. They bang, bang, bang. He's not bitches. from here. Chingy ain't from here. I, no, right? I'm just saying, no, though. Oh. In general, <laughs> even about, these okay, niggas that's not with, famous. Without naming names, did you fuck anybody from Love and Hip Hop? No. Not even your manager? No. Uh. That's what everybody thinks. I, me, me and Rich never done nothing. And that's... I, that's on period. And that's on period. I never You said did. that on your period? <laughs> <laughs> what? Dinner, Angela. Look. Can you freestyle? That is just my manager. Can you, you said, can I freestyle? Yeah. Hey. 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 I'm that raw ass bitch. Dick. The Bun chick with the dick. dick. But motherfuckers <laughs> still try to holler at this. See, I'm tight and I'm classy. That's what they like. They don't want that. They want this, bitch. You think you can spit? You think you the shit? But motherfuckers know you look like shit. Don't come at me with all that bullshit. Cause we all know that I suck this dick. <laughs> Them. You got a big behind that. that. She, she sucked the dick with the banana. Put a banana cotton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the sound fucked up. I, I was joking. I break it. No. <laughs> <laughs> y'all. No, we clearly saved the this best This is for last, blame it on the liquor. Blame it on the alcohol. Listen, Sorry, y'all. Chicago, I think y'all should give yourselves a round of applause right now because y'all yes. are going to get the best lip service yes, live show best, that we yes, have to this give. This is so good. Because this, this is, is epic. the best show okay. so far. This yes, is because y'all already know one thing about Chicago women, men, too. We keep shit one fucking honey, don't we? Okay. I love that. We Clearly. keep shit one honey. We give no fucks. I wish, you know what? I wish that me and you, because you was on Love and Hip Hop New York too, right? Nope. <laughs> yes, she was. You better keep it a hundred. We in Chicago. Cause it would have been cute if we was on the same season. I, uh, cause you know, yo, cause I, I, I think I was one of their. I, I was a really good. I think I was the hardest cast member for them. Cause of my situation. Cause you know I'm, I'm fun and wild. And you know when I bucked that Naya, like I almost I think got fired that day. Yeah. <laughs> they but remember. They, I, but anybody that know me know that I'm not a fighter. I don't fight. All I, I'll just be playing. <laughs> You're a lover. I'm a lover. I like to have fun. And all I do is just, I'm, I'm just trying to suck a nigga dick. That's it. <laughs> so did you trying to suck a nigga dick or something. Did you piece That's up all. all your beefs that came from Love & Hip Hop? Say that again. You pieced up all your beef that um, came from Love & Hip Hop? Um, I, no, not all uh, of them. No, it's, it's cool, though, because it's still love <laughs> in my heart for everybody because I, I, at the end of the day, I want everyone to succeed. She trying to stay on that motherfucking I show. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to. I, 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 I love everybody. I love everybody. I love everybody, especially Amazing. Mona Scott. That's my, <laughs> that's I my love favorite. Stephanie. <laughs> I love Stephanie and Mona. And, and you know, the bag. my we thing know is, I know, I just, I just, you know, my thing is I, I, I just want to suck a nigga dick or something. That's it. All right, let me ask y'all something, and I want y'all all to keep it real up here as women who are entrepreneurs working, making their own money. Have you ever financially supported a man? I have. Never. Shauna said... <laughs> Yeah, but not for long, like, you know. I, I have, but just for a little period of time, you know. So, what I mean? Like he down right now, so I'm. I gotta take care of the bills. Yeah, I, I, that's I agree it. With you Look, saying. like I, if I believe in a nigga, I'm gonna support him. I'm not gonna lie. If you Come want, on, okay, if mama. I believe in you, I'm gonna support him. Cause so you know what I'm saying. Like you, you got know, three people that, that agree with you. I don't want to get too preachy, but niggas need that nowadays. There's so much shit going on in the world for a black support man. Support these black men. If you got men. somebody and you see he got really for real potential, support that man. Especially if you can do it and not miss a beat. You did know they make saying? something out of themselves after you did all that? Yes. They did? Oh, well, at least yes. that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least it wasn't a bad investment, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because other than that, I was just paying for debt. 
<laughs> Yo, and thanks. Speaking of that, see, a bitch like oh, me, shit. I'm not gonna lie, don't judge me. It have been times where a nigga, you know, he said he would tell me, bitch, you know, I don't fuck with transgender females like that. But if you wanna suck my dick, bitch, you gonna have to pay me. I'll be like, how much? I got you. What's the most you ever paid to do that? I use the little, I use the little my love and hip hop money. I ain't gonna lie. What a whole ass. Just a little bit. That, wait, 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 wait. But what's that? What's the money? I, I paid the nigga about 60 bucks. You know, that's all he wanted. $60. Because he said he wanted money. to get his weed and his liquor. Ah. Uh, okay, I lied. The okay. most I paid was 100 Okay. <laughs> so I have a question. Cheap okay. hole. Does, <laughs> does paying for the phone calls and putting money on his books count while he was in jail? Yes. Okay, well, then that I didn't take care of a nigga before. Yeah, I, didn't yeah, I, didn't did that. I didn't do that a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> I bailed my whole ex nigga out of jail. Let me tell y'all. I bailed my whole ex nigga out of jail for $6,000. I got his name tattooed on me. Not once, but twice. You know the nigga, the Lamont I got on my stomach? Did, did you get it back? Girl, hell no. Nah. See, that's what I'm saying. So, I ain't mad at look, let me tell y'all what the fuck happened. When he got out of jail, See what happened. that nigga was with me three days straight. He said, I'm going to marry you, bitch. I love you. Three days straight. Then dipped off on me with his baby mama. I was done. That, that's I was how I over be. it. Damn, bitch, you couldn't even get I a was, week? I was devastated. I fucked and sucked so much dick for that money. How the fuck you gonna leave me? <laughs> How you gonna leave me? I not and did all this work for you to get out of jail and your bitch ass gonna leave and go with your baby mama. I do wanna say, I, I don't think you charge enough. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, either, I think girl. you should raise the price, <laughs> girl. Like, you a right? whole celebrity out here, girl. Right. Your Uber costs more TV, than $60. So. You know we gotta call the XL luxury <laughs> yeah. Uber yeah. shit. Well, see, that's we that's the humble level. shit in me, though. No nah, shame. Bitch. I know I done been on a Raise lot of TV prices, shows, oh, but I'm prices. still humble as as a bitch. No, I I'm still humble too, but my price is OD high. Off the block. <laughs> That's like Groupon prices. You got to raise them <laughs> shits up a little bit. I'm tipsy. <laughs> Girl, you was like, you're being yourself, Sydney. We love you for who but you I are. But I hope I don't, don't regret like this that. shit in the morning. You going to watch that shit and be like, <laughs> shit did I say? The Lord Why have mercy. did I say that? You're not going to regret Cindy, it. Sydney, I do want to thank you for popping up on us. Thank like you. That. We I love you. I stayed on this bitch all night. Yes, we love I you. I enjoyed it. y'all. Give it up Give it up for Sydney. Give it up for Sydney. Give it up for Sydney. Thank you so much, Sydney. My time to get the fuck out the couch. No, we're excited no, that you oh, know what? Yes, we oh, love no, you. We love you. I thought it was time for me to go. Slow clap for Sydney oh, Star. Thank, thank you for coming. Can I get y'all? Right, can I get y'all on my Instagram? Wait, hold on. I wanna. Right. Can I get the? Can I get the? Um, okay, I wanna do a snap too. The fucking the thing. The, um, can you just leave it unlocked so we can <laughs> yeah. see something real quick? Can we? Can we? <laughs> That's what I said to can, pass the phone to Angela. Can I? Can I? Can I get y'all? Can I get the audience on my Instagram? What's up? What's up, y'all? What it do? Sydney <laughs> motherfucking star lip service with my bitches. How you doing? Look, I love y'all. I just want everyone to kind of like, I wish one day I can make everyone feel comfortable about the whole transgender situation because it's still kind of like a situation a lot of people don't like to be around, you know, but it's, it's taboo. It's different. But, you know. I'm, I'm comfortable around you. Like, I, want, I, want, I want women, females, men. I want everyone to, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a woman with a penis. That's all. Just the woman. That's it. It's just it. <laughs> That's we a good way to you, look Sydney. at it. We I love, love you, Sydney. We love you, Sydney. The only motherfuckers uncomfortable is the niggas that's on the down low. That's usually that's the one. Exactly. That's the only people yeah. that's, that's the gag. The one that's who it. will talk about you in your face is the one that's fucking me behind closed doors. Hello. Yep. The people, a nigga yeah, that's not. suck from the back. A nigga that's not, <laughs> that don't have a problem with it won't have an issue with being around me. Rich Because he know what he's like, you oh. know? Yep. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, I will say... That's sure what, that's you? one that's one nigga I can say every man should be like rich dollars because he knows who he is and that's why he didn't have a problem with managing me because he know he's not gay he know he like women and he you know he's a man about the situation you ain't just because you manage a transgender female don't make you gay you feel me so Okay. Every man should be like that. I well, think. we love you, Sydney Star, and we appreciate you for always showing Thank up you, and sharing with us. I love y'all too. <laughs> Give it I'm up for Sydney Star for I'm coming need, through. I want to come back to the Breakfast Club. Okay, Ooh. that's fine. Look, you know I'm fine with it. I want to come with, with Charlemagne there, because oh. you know I'm gonna try to get that. I'm gonna try to get that. Because <laughs> I'm gonna try to get that. 
Because I've been wanting Charlemagne. I feel I've been like trying you can, to get that big black dick. I feel like you can make it happen. I know he got a big old black dick. I know Charlemagne got a big old black dick. Yeah, oh I can't see. Tell him. Tell him I said that. Okay, we'll make sure. We we'll make him. sure. And I lick the balls, too. Oh, I'm pretty good. sure he's going to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love balls. <laughs> oh, One geez. thing, ladies, before I go. If you suck in your nigga dick, you cannot <laughs> leave the balls out. You have to suck the balls. Do not not show love to them nuts. Because if you not show love to them nuts, then that nigga going to find another bitch that's going to show love to them nuts. <laughs> And no then, shade. And there you have it, Wise Wear Some Sydney doing? Star. The transgender diva has spoken. Yes! Thank you, Sydney. I love you, Sydney. Your ass is crazy as hell. I'm sorry. I see why they put your ass on TV. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Y'all was about to do something together, right, Shauna? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, was, we were. Yep, yeah, we was gonna do a show called Trans America. It was a show I did on VH1 with Tyra Banks, and Shauna was um, coming on as my guest. As, yep, as your and guest. And what happened was that show turned into a bad girls club for the trannies. We started, huh? Gigi, can you What happened? Oh, oh, you okay. want to drink too. Oh, okay. I but look, Gigi, look, I need a refund. But look, look, let me tell y'all. So it, it was called Trans America. It was going to be a show on VH1. And Shauna was on it. And we Wait, uh-uh. Uh, no, clear this shit up. She said as your guest. Clear this shit as up. her guest. As, as her a, guest. Because, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm like, Shauna, see, I, I got to I got a C-section cut. I want y'all to know. Just so you know. Before you get motherfuckers. Wait, I just, oh. I just She was on the trans Okay, no, she wasn't one of the trans cast members. Clear that shit up. <laughs> Y'all are crazy as hell. She came on as my guest because they wanted to go into my storyline of who I worked with. Sean is all woman, 100%. How you doing? Um, so my thing was the show didn't air because it turned into a transgender bad girls club. We were fighting each other. And Tyra Banks didn't want to have nothing to do with it after that, so they shelved us. Okay. Tyra Banks was the executive producer. I'm with of the that show. though. I'm tired of seeing women fighting on TV. So yeah, me too. It's so corny. Definitely. I'm I'm not mad at that. But thank Silly. you again, Sydney. I'm gonna talk to you in the back. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, I'm out of here, y'all, because I did thank too you, much. Sydney. I hope y'all enjoyed me. Hey, is that Dottie? Hey, Dottie, what's up? What's up, baby? How you doing? All right, and let me tell y'all one more thing before I go. I was supposed to be in L.A. today, <laughs> but I missed the flight because I don't like to fly. So, I'm a girl that will get on the train and the quickness and the bus. So, usually, I say, mega bust me down. And when I tell you mega bust me down, meaning I will suck dick on the back, in the back on the mega bus. Mega bust me down. How you doing? Make sure you travel, mega yeah. bus. Fuck these planes. There's too much going on. Okay. I ain't trying to be one of the statistics crashing. <laughs> I'm out. Love you. Love you too. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody say, Mega bust me down. <laughs> that sounds like a song. <laughs> sounds like a little hug. Bitch, like... I'm so glad we got on the same boots. We've been to get some views oh, on y'all this really motherfucker. <laughs> Views. Me and Cindy had the same boots on, bitch. <laughs> That's how it was meant to be. That's how, you know, it was Girl, meant to be. Girl, your ass just went crazy. I'm out. I'm out. Let me get myself together. Hell yeah. Banana dicks and sucking from the back and hairy assholes. I'm trying to remember everything. That shit was a lot. <laughs> Shana, you I'm mad I didn't get to show y'all the videos. Uh-uh. Show uh, the recap. Okay. We got time. <laughs> they want to be in the group chat. Everybody hey, text hey, 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 you. You got a whole DM section me. right here, Sid. If they you want to see my videos, DM me on Instagram, and I might and I might send you some little something, something. <laughs> Y'all yeah. can be added to the group chat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Sydney. Sydney Store. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It never has. If, if we don't name this episode Mega Bust Me Down, I'm quitting <laughs> this show. Mega Bust Me Down. <laughs> Shauna, have you ever been with a white guy? 
No, I um I had like almost the opportunity, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. And he was like over me, and then his hair fell on me, and it was all oh, soft and no. shit. He probably and had I was like, no, nah, this ain't what, what I want to do. No, nah. and that's honest. Like I, I was about to do it. Last yeah, it, just, it, was, it. I don't know. It felt like girly. It was like his <laughs> hair fell on me like softly, and I was like, you know, I told y'all earlier, I like aggression. You know what I'm saying? I'm very aggressive. Yeah, I'm I like very a macho man. So my man got to be macho. You can't be on top of me and then your feather and your bangs fall. <laughs> fall your bangs. And your bangs so falls on graciously. Me all softly. <laughs> <sighs> you no. like, so you like being choked? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 You know yes. when the best time to get choked is when you're about to come. Right? You do it to a guy. They love that shit. Yes. When he's about to come. Like ladies, yeah, when he's about to come, you grab, grab him by the throat. neck. Oh my God. They or love or you shit. take your hand and cover his mouth and his nose at the same time like this. Oh my oh, God. God. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a crime, guys. Okay, murder Gigi. is a crime. Just don't kill him. Murder Just don't kill him. Right right right. Right. And right before that, you take out a life insurance policy. Right here in the pink shirt. No, exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Murder is a crime. We know who's gonna murder on this show. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, clear mind twin. I'm taking so many. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know how that guy Cover died out, Gigi. Yeah. Yeah. Cover right, now I'm not so sure if it went through. Has, has somebody ever choked you too hard in bed? Yes. Me too. Yes. You get the fight, like, oh, get the fuck off of me, I can't breathe. I'm going to call 911 on that nigga. <laughs> You know how people say you need a safe word? I've never done that, though. Me neither. Not a safe word. People always no, be like, man. okay, we're going to have a safe word. Get the word. fuck off me. Right. <laughs> hey, y'all. Like, enough no, is enough, nigga. No, stop. No, lady. When I say no, no if y'all no need a safe no. word, now, if y'all need a safe word, right, something wrong with this much. nigga. That nigga's you're abusive. Something much. wrong with this nigga. He safe damn near word. killed you, bitch. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. 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 All right, let me hear it. Let me hear what your safe word would be right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just go with okay. stop. Okay, stop. No, like, you, you need a different something like out no. of the ordinary. Shit, hell. Avocado, avocado, avocado. You got one. Yeah. Nacho. I would grab an avocado and shove it in you. Nacho. <laughs> hell. What? Did you hear that? Did you get that? My safe word would be disgusting. Why would you nigga. even think of that? Stop. Did you get that? Right, that's what I said. Stop. <laughs> nigga, I'm dying. I'm yeah, done. I think it's once you start with the nigga and it don't, it sound like you in a serious it ass like song. like you like it. Bro. Um, I think you're going to stop. Like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, no. Yeah, exactly. When I start, when I hit the New York accent, yeah. like, ugh, when I go from a uh, to yo, yo, yo. yo. <laughs> Chill. Chill, B. That's when they know. Chill, B. That's, That's when you know. Yo, you mad tripping, yo. <laughs> you mad tripping. You mad tripping, yo. You wildin', yo. You mad wildin'. <laughs> you mad wildin'. What about your safe word, L'Oreal? Just make one up. She ain't got one. She ain't got one. This bitch ready to more. die. I feel like Don't we know stop. better. I feel like a nigga know better. But I'm not going to lie. One time... Um, I was having sex with the guy I was dating and he did choke me too hard. And I really had to reconsider our whole relationship after. I was like, yo, did this try nigga to try to me? kill me? Was that abusive? I did. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, unsafe real shit. Like, did after she get what? domestic last night? Because I think I let him do it for a little bit and then I was like, ah. I can't breathe. And, and then you'd be I, mad at everyone the whole movie. Yeah, I was like, damn, I think he's mad at me I and this nigga tried to, to kill me. He mad? was Is mad at me, though. Right. But I didn't think he was going to try to kill me like the way he did. Girl. I was scared. I had to stop fucking with him because I was really scared, y'all. Like, he really tried to kill so me. So bottom line, you just got to be careful with yeah, that Yeah, and I don't like nobody to choke know, me no more. He well, okay, what about spitting in your mouth? Ooh, yeah. That's a fire. That's that so shit? sexy. That is be so alive. sexy. That's oh, my God. Which one of y'all like? Y'all crazy. I love it. Listen, if it's the man that you love yeah, and adore and you be alive. Alive. down and he's time he's gotta be running all over you and then grab yeah. your fucking face and just spit in your mouth. It's uh, disgusting, yeah, but she's right. Your, you like I love it. I'm telling you. <laughs> if you love him, that's why. If you yeah. love a nigga. If you love him, it got to be the man you're in love with. It's nasty as fuck, but if you love his ass. Yeah, if y'all exactly. French kiss and he's spitting in your mouth anyway, y'all some fucking scary No, asshole. no, Gigi, come on. Like, yeah, a French it. kiss is not a... Bitch. Nah, that's I not a nasty ass. No, it's not like that. But you like, you have to... No, you don't prepare. You just do it. You just do 
it. You don't. No, no it's, it's not like, like a hot. It's, like, it's, it's not like a water slime. Spin. Like, okay. it's a water like spin. Like when you yes, it's a water you, spin. I, it's not a water spin. It's not it's like it's cold. Okay, like, like if you suck it's a dick juicy and you got mouth like it goes spin. to the back and you get a slob. You know what I'm saying? Your mouth all automatically starts salivating. Like right. that's, that's perfect. Yes. That that bubbly bubbly spin. No, that's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. Like a drop of spin. Yes, that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about the first spin. They're not with this shit. Nah, you're not finna do it's that. It's the first spin. Nah. Yes. I'm okay not with the, some slobbery. Not the back spin. It's the first. Slobby shit, but they not They're gonna try it, though. I think they're gonna try it Y'all know y'all gonna now. try it while y'all over here talking shit. Y'all nasty asses gonna try it. Y'all like, no. See, when I said that, I couldn't okay. tell if y'all liked no. it or not. Texting a nigga right now, like, babe, you ever uh, thought about spitting in, in my, my mouth? mouth? So, like, y'all don't never That's let a, a crazy man. Text it's again. like, all right, so when a man spits in your pussy, you never let him do that either? I really don't like that either. I really don't like that either. Y'all don't like that either? Just keep going, let your mouth salivate, let it get wet, but don't. <sighs> I'm don't, so confused. Y'all don't <sighs> like getting spit at. What <laughs> is that? Why is that so cute to y'all? <laughs> Wait, so it's how about the like men? That, you, sure. The no. men in here, y'all yeah, be spitting in the pussy? <laughs> yeah. Men in the audience, is y'all spitting in the pussy or no? Men spitting the pussy. Y'all not nasty if you're not spitting in the pussy. I don't know. No, you can slob. You can slob all you want. You can slob to the motherfucker. I need sheets. to know what kind of sex y'all having out there I know. This is safe sex. What yeah. kind of safe ass sex is y'all having out Boring ass missionary six pumps and he come ass sex as y'all having out here in Chicago. Y'all need to I'm lie in that shit. Like, that's why that nigga treating on you with Sydney Star. Because the fuck you on the piece of Oh, God. That's a fact. Real that's shit, fact. Gigi. You nigga all up in Sydney Star DM talking about what that mouth do. Because you won't let this fit in yours, bitch. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Shauna, what if what if your guy asked you to spit in his mouth? That's just sexy as fuck. Ugh. Then it's right? I, then I'm, I'm just sexy. nasty, y'all. I mean. I mean, I would do it, but it's gonna be awkward because it's not something I do. I'll be like, okay, wait, all right, okay. I, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know how to spit. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, right? I'm gonna spit it. on the wrong shit. I'm gonna spit on the bed. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try that again. No, no. If you, you know do it, you'll be good. No, I don't know. I, I've never done it. I don't know. I don't know. I've never done it. I just, I don't know. I never even had to think that's about that. Fire. I've never been with a spitter, you guys, so that's new to me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you get with a spitter, yeah, you know that he's Then I'll be able to talk you? that talk. Exactly. Right now, I have never been with one, so let me just, I digress. So you know I got my new Helix Sleep mattresses, and I absolutely love them. Because I don't get a lot of sleep, a good night's sleep is something that I value and cherish, and it all starts with a great mattress. Well, Helix Sleep has a quiz that just takes two minutes to complete and matches your body type and your sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. You know, I sleep on my side, so I need a mattress that's good for that. But there's some people that are hot sleepers. Some people like a plush or a firm bed. With Helix, there's no more confusion and no more compromising on an average mattress. Helix Sleep was even awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2019 by GQ and Wired Magazine. Just go to helixsleep.com slash lip service and take their two-minute sleep quiz and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash lip service. That's helix, H-E-L-I-X, sleep.com slash lip service for up to $200 off. When your man comes in your mouth, can you kiss him after that? You know, after you smile. Hell yeah. I mean, the fuck you mean? If what it's going mean? in my mouth, it's going in yours. You shaking your head, no, but I know you didn't kiss the bitch like you came in their mouth. Stop lying. Yes. All three of you. Tongued her down. <laughs> They're you like, know what that's called in, in the term? The, the, what's the term? It's called snowballing. Yeah, snowballing. No, that's that when the cum is in your... Uh, no, no, no. Wait, what, that's what, when, what is snowballing? That's, that's when he come in your mouth when and, you, in your you, mouth you, and you kiss him. And you, kiss him, him. And you put it in No, that's when the oh, cum is still no, no, in the no, mouth. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, the cum is in the mouth. The cum is still in the mouth. Yeah, you spit. Yeah, you spit. Okay, I didn't mean all that. You don't spit it out of You make out with him after. If you swallow it, snowball. If you swallow it and then kiss him... That's right. It's still a snowball. It's still a snowball till you wash your mouth. (laughs) So what is it called when he eats your pussy and then you kiss him? 
I don't know It's about. called what Gigi likes to do, because I'm going to lick his whole entire face Not after he eat this pussy. I want to taste all of that shit. All his beard, all his mustache, everything. I think it's different mustache, for girls, because I don't want a guy to wow. want to kiss me after I suck his dick. I, but I want a guy to want to kiss me after he eats my pussy. I want to okay. slob his whole face down after he eats my You want to taste pussy. yourself. Yes, you I know what? I, I agree with you, Stephanie, because like, yeah, once cause that happens, I don't want him I'm to want to kiss me after he came in my mouth. I ain't even going to lie. Nobody got time for that. I, I don't know. Plus, I don't swallow. I can't oh, swallow. Hold on. I'll Let me go rinse that my shit nose. You like, can't oh, you know, oh, so you go and spit it out. That shit's like snot. I mean, I just I, let it run back out my mouth. Like, so I'm what happens happen is... Well, that's is, sexy. That's sexy. I yeah, spit yeah, it I out. Just let it just run sexy. back out my Make mouth. Make sure like, that the oh, dick oh, is oh, so oh. far down your you throat that it just bypasses that and you don't even taste it. When he comes, you just make sure it's at the back of your throat. It's already back there. And you swallow it. And he likes that shit. Don't swallow. Don't swallow. You take a deep breath and it's gone. I don't yeah. I can't right? do And they like that. the that feeling of like you swallowing snot. it on yes. the tip of the dick. Yeah. Y'all swallow? I don't swallow. I can't do it. That Y'all shit, swallow? Uh-uh. Nah, I spit that shit right I out. I'm not I'm doing like, oh, it. Y'all all getting cheated on. <laughs> Baby, you gonna have to smell <laughs> the nut and the Y'all all getting cheated on. My ex Cause... taught me to, to fucking <laughs> spit it out. He was like, don't swallow that shit. Spit that shit out. I can't. Oh, and wow. I would say that. That's he weird. Because it's disgusting. It you is. And then they'd be like, that's for marriage. Right. No, bitch, not even when I'm married. I'm not doing I'm that shit. I'm tangled up not, over not, here. I'm not. I'm not. You just not the nigga it's for me. It's going down my it. throat. Wow. It's going down my throat. It's never touching my tongue yeah. because the dick is so Wait, far down guy, my throat. For the guys throat. in the yeah. room, does it bother you if you come and she doesn't swallow it? Guys, you don't care. She said, I don't care. People with penises in the building, this question is for you. Does it bother you? They right here. The men right up here is one, two, three men. If if she don't four, I see you, nigga. You tried to hide with the gray hat. <laughs> All right, so y'all four, you would be mad if she spit it in the sink or the toilet. No, as long as she sucked your dick, right? <laughs> Are y'all gonna kiss her? Well, they're not gonna say yeah. Are you gonna? Kiss but let her? me ask you this: What if a guy was eating you out and you came and he moves? Like right when uh, you were what? Coming. I was like, I'm but chasing women, it. I wouldn't be mad. Yeah, yeah. Where you going that would have never happened. Where you going, nigga? That would be kind of surprising. You know what that tells me? I would that be tells like, me wow. that he's a bitch ass nigga. I would be like, shocked. Deserve this pussy. You know? I'm getting the fuck up out of here. My reaction would be like more shocked. Like, oh my god, you don't want to keep eating my pussy? <laughs> <laughs> where the fuck did you go? Right? Man? Like, what are you doing? What? She <laughs> said he gotta get the fuck out my house. That's what you said. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, if, if, if you don't stop, deserve if you stop, this pussy, nigga, get the fuck out. If he stopped before, like, well, wow, I can't come, believe that just happened. Yeah. Get All right, uh, now let's switch topics a little bit. What do you think is the amount of money a man should spend on a first date? <laughs> on a first date, what so is he? I don't know, because I feel like, I even told a nigga recently, like, I'm so bored with restaurants and movies and all that other shit. The same amount of money you can go spend in an expensive restaurant and drinks all night, we could take a flight. You know what I'm saying? So, like, just for some different shit. That's you like where? I mean? You got to eat when you get there, too. Right, and then you're going to have to go to a restaurant when you <laughs> well, get there. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You still going to end up paying. They what you going to do eat on that anyway. play? They spending the money anyway, so do something See, different. me, right? I feel like there's levels to dating. Um, and it all depends on the person's means. It all depends on what they can afford, what type of person, you know, level-wise they are and what they're used to. And the female, too. Like, you can't be no female that take yourself to Red Lobster but expect a nigga to take you to Nobu. Yeah. And, and, and then you True. get there. Yeah. And, and if he, his credit yeah. card declined, you can't pick up the bill, yeah. bitch. Right. Then you yeah. got a problem. Yeah, but so I feel like if you can't means. afford to eat at a restaurant, you shouldn't sit in the restaurant. Yeah. But Absolutely. it should work yeah. both ways. If I feed myself Nobu, why the fuck I got to go to uh If I, if I feed myself so no boo nigga, we're not gonna. Did I ever tell y'all about the time the guy took me on a Valentine's date and he took me to um, Applebee's? <laughs> oh. He flew me from Philadelphia to Dayton, Ohio to take me to his favorite restaurant. Nigga, you we went to up Dayton, at Ohio. That was, that's the nicest <laughs> restaurant in Dayton. What, what the fuck about? did you think you was going you, you up to? Up I just want to say, <laughs> the flight was first oh, class. Listen, I tried to the flight was first class and I stayed in a five star hotel, so I thought that we was going to go to a nice restaurant. She wanted the table to rotate this nigga said in his, Ohio. <laughs> this nigga said his favorite restaurant was Applebee's. I was so upset. That's the only I sat, restaurant I there. I sat in the restaurant like this and they ordered nothing off the menu. Aww. The yeah, so you just starved? It was the worst Valentine's Day you ever. You stuck up, bitch. I was being I a whole stuck like, up, uh, bitch. I would have ordered something. Let me 
motherfucking chicken fried chicken steak. Head head head. Two for 20 head ass <laughs> nigga. If you get the fuck out my face. So you were mad and hungry. hungry. <laughs> for 20. I don't bitch, know I went back to the hotel about. and ate everything in the mini bar. <laughs> just for some clarity. All right, right, at least I'm going to get a hot wing in this right, bitch. You should go be mad. Just for some clarity. They asked people on death row what is the meal, their last meal that they were having. The number one answer was Applebee's. Really? So yeah, yeah. Bitch, I ain't no death row. They in jail. Damn. Gigi is... Yo, Angela just compared Gigi's day to a fucking death, death row, row last meal. Death row last meal. Jesus. No. It was supposed to be Valentine's oh Day. It was Valentine's Day. <laughs> and he made it all romantic. Like, what have you done for Valentine's Day? Do you have plans? I Did wouldn't he... rather him cook for me. Yeah, I think honest. that would have been sweeter. I because that's what I'm him. saying. Like, um, a cool first date, you could go to the and grocery store and set up a nice candlelit dinner in the but house and watch a movie. But a first date shouldn't be in someone's yeah. house, right? Yeah, shouldn't no. Be... No, that's true. No. Like, but it shouldn't be the Applebee's. But you could Absolutely go to a... Absolutely um, You could go to... You could go on a... Like, if the weather's nice... Well, it's freezing here, so you can't yeah, go to the park. not in Chicago right now. You can't now. go to the, on a picnic. <laughs> Applebee's. We ain't going to picnic. Ain't no picnic in Chicago. Ain't no coming back from there. We ain't getting sponsored by them no time soon. Well, since y'all talking about it, what was your best first date? Um, it was out of town. I ain't gonna lie. It was out of town. And what did y'all do? We, um, we fucked on the plane. Ow. On the way there. Oh, damn. And then we got drunk oh, you... off of all the liquor that was in the hotel refrigerator. <laughs> and then we went out and partied. That so. bill was three thousand dollars because you know that liquor in the, the room. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've been in a lot yeah. of hotels during this tour. Got we know how much some the liquor. liquor. I was just about to park. say. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus I got opened up the bottle. Bad. I was feeling a little frisky and opened up the bottle to kill it. The hotel in LA, the motherfuckers charged me eighty five dollars for a bottle. Baby bottle. Bitch, I was mad and shit. She woke up the next day mad as hell. You know when you drunk and you need one more drink? She had that bottle there. She was like, "Fuck it." She woke up the next day. She's like, bitch, I opened this motherfucking tequila. <laughs> yo, man. She don't even drink tequila. Yeah. I, I drink that. Brown. I was mad on me. Shit. shit when you drunk. Ah, fuck, fuck that. It. My tequila right, was sitting right it. there, still sealed I, up. Mine too. I got charged like $50 from that hotel. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Let's say you're dating a guy. You're in the hotel with him, right? It's still early on. He's like, okay, I got to go. And your flight's later than his, right? Do you, is it okay for you to take stuff out the minibar, order food and all of that on his bill? Yes. Did he get some pussy? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. I'm ordering room service. If the room is on the head name, time, I'm, I'm ordering going to the spa, getting a massage. Because I sure. probably, no, I'm, <laughs> I don't think I would do facial. all that. That's right. a lie. That's see, a lie. That's a lie. We got the same birthday. I'm buying we the products that use so on my shape. face for no, that. No, but I'm taking all the products from the hotel room. Because you know the five-star like, hotel rooms, we having the good amenities, good, all the, no, all the buddy, good, the good toiletries. But I'm so hell-bent on letting a motherfucker know, bitch, I don't need you. I ain't got to drink on your shit while you ain't looking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, but that's just me. That's I'm just not, me trying to be though. I'm not, not, no, not going there not looking. He the bill anyway. Gotta, I'm going to ask you. Gone. Too. I'll ask you. You gone. Like, can I, I, I could have drunk I don't think I would. Here. I wouldn't even ask him. I'd probably just like order what I want to order, pay for it myself. Yeah, like some food, but just getting, yeah. getting, getting fucking drunk as fuck on everything that was in the uh, fridge. I don't know everything. I'm comfortable. I couldn't fuck with a nigga that's petty over me ordering food. Me too, right? Right? Yeah, not the other well, food. I'm not saying that he'd be petty, but I also but, feel like I just wouldn't do that to somebody. I don't think I'm going to go overboard yeah. and go get a facial and a massage. And right. Jesus. Jesus. But I'm just, yeah. I but wanted I'm to drink him. something in the room. His flight is at 6 a.m. and my flight is at 4 p.m. I ain't got shit to do all day. I'm definitely telling him, babe, I'm making some spot for Imagine if he'd be like, I checked out, so bitch, don't you eat or drink anything. Don't order nothing. Yeah, but imagine he get that bill and you done ordered Five hundred dollars worth of stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna. He probably go would feel like, hard. damn, you know what I mean. Yeah. But I'm gonna eat breakfast and I'm gonna drink if I'm thirsty. I'm yeah. gonna keep that same. I'm not gonna OD. We had when he was there. We was ordering this, shit exactly. when he was here, nigga. I'm ordering shit after you go. You I know probably would say something. I wouldn't just do it. You know, I got late. I would, checkout. I would hit him and be yeah. like, listen, you know, I'm about to order breakfast. He should tell you to order breakfast. Yeah, but if he doesn't, right, listen, I agree. Like, usually they'll be like, oh, I'm leaving. Order some food. I'm just not big on spending other people's money without checking. Bitch, you're rich. Bitch, that's why. Yeah, she's like, uh, I'll take the thousand. The rich, bitch, rich. the rich bitch on the couch don't care about spending other care. people's money, bitch. I want to spend his money, okay, so I can keep mine. All right. 
The fuck? I'd be like, I got this. I might pay for the room, too. No, I'm kidding. No, I swear. Come on, no cake mama. Shit. I ain't gonna tricking. walk away talking about this thirsty-ass bitch. <laughs> Drank the Moet, the Hennessy, you and the vodka, pussy and the gin. You thirsty pussy wanting ass nigga wanted me to Who come here. Who can even drink that? <laughs> Why we not at your house? <laughs> Why we not at your house? Because y'all was both out of town. Oh, you don't live there. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, y'all might have wanted to meet up somewhere. And then All right, so you can have breakfast. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that you can't. <laughs> I just am not a fan of like just spending money and not saying I don't know I'm just funny about yeah. it I, you know yeah, what I'm saying I'm so. you. you're just rich know. bitch it's okay <laughs> no I don't think it's just I would definitely be funny about somebody that's funny about me being good yeah about eating and things yeah. like that I get, like again I can see if I went shopping in the gift shop yeah. with all and got and fucking went, bags and, and this and now that's a, a, that's a lot but just to eat and drink that's sick yeah, me, I didn't say he was funny about it. I'm just saying I wouldn't feel comfortable just doing it. That's all. Like, I'll be like, let me order some stuff and then I'll just pay for it when it comes and just, because I don't even want to do that. That's just me, though. All right. Now, have you ever felt like a guy was setting you up? Like, he's talking to you and then other dudes are trying to talk to you and you feel like he's set you? up? Yeah. Yeah, I felt like that before. I think my ex is yeah. all the time. Honestly. But what is the setup for? What he setting you up for? To see, see what you're going to do. To see what you're going to do when somebody else If you're going to. Oh, to see okay, if you're going to. Yeah. Like, say you're supposed to be exclusive with him as far as he knows or whatever. Yeah. And then you're talking to a whole other dude and say it's something in common. Like, they both came from Pennsylvania. And you like, do these motherfuckers know each other? Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, it'll be the randomest thing. Yeah. That's never happened to you? No. Really? No. Or you see them like in a picture on Instagram together and you talking to one of them and then the other one hits you? You're like, hell oh, no. Shit. Man, my girls always know. Hey, check all the friends out before you pick one, bitch, because you might pick the wrong one. Hello. You know what I'm saying? You pick one nigga out the, the crew and then later on you see Big Dick Willie coming with his bag and you like... Damn. I picked the wrong one, but it's too late I then. I picked the wrong nigga. You always I remember find back in the Nextel days, I, I never used to store up numbers in my phone, and I had two guys that had the first, the same area code and the first three numbers of their phone. Damn. They I was like, what kind of FBI conspiracy is this, these niggas? <laughs> That's God telling you to pick one. I was them. like, oh my God. One, I stopped talking to both of them. <laughs> You ever fuck with somebody that had the same name, like later on, like say you was dating someone and their name was Mike? And then you got in another really? relationship, and their name was Mike again. Really? That's a I common think I, name. I, I, I've been with a couple of Anthony. He got to get a nickname. <laughs> right. He, he got to get a big with Mike a couple, and little Mike. A couple <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, I think Anne Marie is here, so I want her to come and join us also. Is Anne Marie somewhere around? Because I know she's in the building somewhere. Oh, Anne Marie, I love her. Yes, we love her. Her voice is so gorgeous. Yeah, young Anne Marie. Y'all love Anne Marie, right? Yes. Little pretty psycho Anne Marie. Do y'all know about Anne Marie? Yeah. yeah. She's been She's on... our little baby. She's really dope, y'all. She's actually Check been on lip service before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I saw her episode too. We oh, love yeah. her. And so, you yeah. know, when we came to Chicago, we had to make sure she came out and represented for us. Yes. So we. It's a, I'm not going to lie, y'all. It's a long walk from the area where yeah, our life is. From the green at. room? Yeah. To, and it's and a lot I'm of stairs. And I'm sitting here thinking about that long walk because I've been drinking a lot of Douce and I got to use that. Yo, yeah. oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Can we do yeah, that? Yeah, y'all yes. can go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, we we can do. Do. I just want to say, y'all, this oh while they go to the bathroom, this is our last show, so we're so excited to be joining y'all. Yeah. And we yeah. really are. Thank you so much, guys. We really are in here partying with y'all. Oh, shit. Look. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I want to. She'll be in a twerk uh, session later oh, on. The little Who twerk else out? is gonna come up here and twerk? I, I okay. Yeah, I heard I over there. I twerk. I twerk. Not me. Is but. that Amory right there? <laughs> Amory. How many people in here have had bad experience with edibles? <laughs> Highest hand I ever rose in my life. I've had several bad experiences with edibles, and What was the worst and one? You're like, and I keep coming back. <laughs> and I keep coming back. What's the worst one for you, Ange? You had your hand in the air. I had a few bad experiences. <laughs> Tell us one. You just I, never know. Don't y'all want to hear Ange's story where she took too many edibles and... Yeah, what happened? I mean, like, I was in San Francisco and I fell asleep outside my room. That was probably the worst. And outside, like, in the hallway? Yeah. What? I was leaning on the door because my key didn't work. You know how you that walk was some to the good room, shit. and when you want edibles, everything felt like it took way longer. 
Wow, that was, was some supposed fire, and Wow. And so I was walking to the room. My key didn't work, and then I... Hey! hey there she is. <laughs> hey, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, give it up for Anne Marie. Oh, wait, you can sit yeah, right... Sit yeah, sit right here. Well, first of all, I love your winter look, because it is feeling like winter it's here. It's really thank cold you, thank here. You. And you got a chance to meet Shona. She was excited to meet you. She was like, I love Oh, yeah, I just seen her. She dope. All right, so let's get into it. My little psycho friend. Oh, she does that. She herbo already? Well, damn. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> he just strolled in. Damn, this is some real Chicago shit we doing for our last show. I'm excited. What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? <laughs> G Herbo's been on lip service a couple of times and it's always been amusing. I feel yes, like we have. <laughs> I feel like we learned a lot about you. Amory, don't watch it. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you because you guys just walked on here and we were talking about the most you ever spent on a date. On a first date, G Herbo, what's the most money you ever spent? Uh I ain't really never been on a lot of dates, to be honest. Like, uh... Oh, shit. Here he go <laughs> I told You remember I told y'all on one of the episodes, on one of the times I came, my first time going on a date was when I, like, when I met my son and mom, like, being going out with a girl. So, I ain't never really been on dates. For what was it? Where did y'all go on the first date? Huh? Where did you go? Uh... Well, you said, where did we go on yeah. our first date? Somebody said, Ruth Chris over here. Uh... I can't even remember, but we used to go out all the time, so I can't even remember. Amory, what's, the, what's the most impressive first date you ever went on? I went on or I, or I did something for somebody. Like a first date, he took you out and you was like, damn. I ain't never been on no date for real. What? What's nah. going on here, guys? I don't know. I guess Chicago ain't really big on dating. I don't know. <laughs> Ain't too Is many places true, to go, I guess. I don't know. What y'all be doing? Uh, please, y'all got, got so all many these amazing restaurants, restaurants. Here. Yeah, there's so much good food here. So y'all just get to fucking, or how does this work? Oh, oh, nah, no. they be chilling <laughs> and smoking. <laughs> not that Because y'all not place. virgins up here, right? No, so we what, ain't virgin, We ain't hoes either, you feel me? So what's the steps to get you interested in, a, in someone? She's like, nah, not no $40 mink type of vibe. <laughs> um... You get a, a bottle, bottle and weed. weed. That's what it. What? Yeah, I mean that. Like Chicago is more. That's what I was about to say. It's more like the energy, the vibe that you catching with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I always been the type of guy. Like I was in the street, so I always calculated my moves as to where I go, where you catch me at. Like I was never nobody where I wanted nobody. Well, I was always the type of guy I never wanted to put myself in a place where somebody like, oh yeah, he right here. Even right. before I was like a celebrity, I just always moved that way. So if I like a girl, I would just like have them come around me and catch my energy. I was just always in the street. So like you could tell, I'll be honest, like like how Angela said, you were, you learned a lot about me just being around me because I open up to people. That's why I right. let everybody come around me. So, so if I let a girl come eating, around, yeah, of you course, do, like whatever do. vibe I'm catching, she catching the same vibe. Whatever okay. I eat, we just around and I let, you know what I'm saying? So. I feel like just my charisma, that's how uh, I attract women. Okay. Now, so it's ask, not like a date. It's just getting to know each other yeah. the way that you oh, we live got some and the way they live. That's how I was. Okay. Just. All right. That makes sense. Now, what about jealousy, right? How jealous are you? We'll start with you, Miss Psycho. Anne Marie, are you a jealous person? Not really, but I don't play none of that friendly shit. <laughs> at all. That's so how I feel good. like I'm not jealous, I'm but not jealous, I don't like but that don't friendly play with shit. Me at all. Yeah. At all. So your man can't have friends that are like of the opposite sex? It depends. Like, um Are they related? <laughs> you feel me? Is that your cousin? <laughs> no, but like it gotta be somebody that never expressed like they like cared about you or tried you or some shit like that. Like if it's a genuine friendship, I believe in males and females could be friends for real to me. Cause a man can only go so far as you let him. You feel me? Do you have any real guy friends that never try to sleep with you? <clears throat> what did you say? <laughs> there you go, right on time. <laughs> but <laughs> G Herbo, you have female friends? Mm, not really. I mean, 
Yeah, like people, girls that I grew up with, probably went to high school that I was close with, or like girls from my neighborhood. I consider my friends like my little sisters and stuff like that, but I don't really like have girlfriends that I kick it with, hang around, or nothing like that. No. You can't. Yeah, I don't. They gonna be on your ass. <laughs> I don't really. I ain't never. <laughs> the internet, know. you know how they be on him. Right. He can't even do yeah. nothing. Even before without... I was in relationships, I never yeah. hung around females, to be honest. You feel like you're a relationship kind of person? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you can say that. <laughs> he's a lover. What y'all saying? Yeah, I'm a. He's a lover. Because he's a Libra, yeah. that's what you I said? Mean, I think I was raised around all women, so I feel like, I don't know, like, if I like a woman, I'm, is, I could be sweet to her, because. I don't, I'm not like I'm not like that with everybody. Like I don't just come off as a friendly person. So when I get around a girl that I like, they become my friend, and then you know we just it, that's how I come off, I guess. So that yeah, was you can say that. How you just did that? <laughs> did y'all see that? Girl, I thought I was the only one who seen that. I said, okay. She over here just popping the bottle with her teeth. <laughs> what about you, Anne Marie? As far as you know, guys being around you that you just cool with. When you date somebody, right, are they okay with that? Well, like my homeboys. Uh-huh. Like you have homeboys. So I'm, I'm kind of like in between a girly girl and a tomboy, but I don't really, I'm not really a people person. Like I, if you see me, you see the same people that I've been around like for years. But if I'm around somebody new, they vibe and their energy was just like right. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta, you gotta give me that feeling. You gotta give me that vibe. You gotta be like, like, I just want to kick it with you. Like, the way you vibe and the way you rocking is like that. You feel me? Woo! Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear you do? <laughs> wow. No, come on and bring I'm it to me, sexy. Bar, First of all, just spill it. Hey. <laughs> All right, now this is a random ass question, but I want to hear how y'all answer this. How often do you wash your sheets? Uh, um, yeah, I, 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 I got cleaning services, so they come to do everything. <laughs> so how often does the cleaning everything. service come? Uh, once a week. Yeah, once a week. Every that's Friday. what I think. Okay, that's you, what I do. You change your sheets every week. Same. Or at least every two weeks for sure. At least. All right, so let's just say when you were single, right? Do you have to change your sheets in between? Yes, you have to change your sheets in between partners. <laughs> what, in between to. fucking? I, yes. Hey, I, mean, I made for a nigga me, change for your me, sheets I live alone. Before. I live you alone. When I'm on my sheets yeah. by myself, I could go yeah. a week, change 10 days with the same sheets. But as soon as I fuck on my sheets, I have to change them. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to. Absolutely, I agree. You got to change the fuck sheets. Like, have you ever been to somebody else's You, you don't know what kind of shit is coming out of you. Me? Yeah. Yeah, you got to change that. Like that ain't I mean, for shit. me, when I live alone, when I'm home alone, I leave the sheets on for two weeks. It, I don't. It's, I, it's me by myself. I'm sleeping on it by myself. But when I'm sleeping in it with a man, like there's slobber on there, there's spit on yeah. there, there's pussy juice. There's, there's, there. You don't know. You don't know how it got there, but it's there. Well, I got kids, so it's when you when you have sex, Cheeto. you gotta change your sheets. It's just what I'm saying. Okay, now y'all gotta change my shit every three days. Yeah. Them little motherfuckers. It just depends. <laughs> so when you go to yeah. a guy's house, Amory, do you like flip the comforter back and be like, "Let me see what the fuck is going on on these sheets"? I'm checking your toilet. I'm checking That's your smart. sink. I'm checking your bed. That's smart as I fuck. I need no outlet. I will, the garbage I will, I will, is the garbage. first thing. The bathroom the garbage outlet. has the most dirt in it. Just That's know. what I just said. No, you know, you, know, you, know, you know if somebody clean. No, but it's the bathroom garbage. Exactly. Exactly. No, that you know if somebody clean when you lift their toilet up. Like when you look inside <laughs> the toilet up, you know if you they clean or not. You see some brown shit. Yeah, you see some shit them. splatters. No, but these niggas got cleaning services now, girl. You can't tell. Exactly. So they got cleaning services. No, but it's a lot of people who don't. Don't even care to have cleaning services come clean up after them. I mean, when I was a bachelor, a I ain't really, I would only clean up when girls I like came over. If you was just a girl that I was kicking it like, with, just miscellaneous. Sleep on, sit on these dirty uh, sheets. You could, so yeah, just yeah, know I if you came it. to his house and it was messy, he wasn't feeling you like that. So what, so what if they confronted you about hair being in the bathroom? Another color that wasn't theirs. Like, what would you do? Uh, I don't know. I if, 
I ain't never put like my girl in that type of situation, but just a girl I'm kicking it with, yeah. I wouldn't even probably explain it. You to just him. ignore her. It just is what it is. I ain't never even got confronted <laughs> That's like my that. Blonde pubic she nobody, yeah, I ain't business. never got confronted like that before. Like my I ain't gonna lie, I used black. to walk in to be like eyelashes just sitting on the side of oh the bed. Random girl, eyelashes. You know a girl was there with the eyelashes on the nightstand. I caught a nigga with some eyelashes before. It was one eyelash on the floor. It's always one. It's never a set. It's never a whole set. It's always just one. Bitches be doing that shit on purpose. No, I think it was, to be honest, I, I think he was, I agree with I, I think agree he was with being Shana. so fast, though. He was trying to clean out the garbage because the garbage was empty. And I think the nigga dropped the lash on the side. That shit be so sticking to shit. It be sticking yeah. to shit. I had a lash on my sock the other day. Yeah, right? lashes be sticking to random ass shit. Like, hey, G, I'll be jumping when I see them motherfuckers. Just, <laughs> and there's no excuse. You can't be like, that's mine. Or you can't be like, that's my sister. <laughs> They will say it's their sister. Yeah, guys that's always say, oh, that's my sister. Like, you don't even talk to your sister. Now, let's do a lip service top five with y'all. What are the top five things that you lie about in a relationship? Anne Marie? Why you say me first? Because <laughs> you look like you had something in your mind. Let him go. But y'all, I mean, as a man, I'm just vouching for me. I, don't, I ain't never really, I think that's why, like, I, I, I'm honest. That's why I really put myself in situations. You know what I'm saying? I'm honest, so I don't really put myself in them situations. Everybody, everybody lie, everybody but I'm just lie, saying, as a man, yeah, you probably will lie about like being asleep, like the place, <laughs> like time, like time, and that you might come oh, where in. Where you at? Like yeah. where you at? Yeah, yeah, I lie like a lot about like the time I come in because my girl should be wanting me at home. No, that all probably the time. is number so one. Like, in class, I lie about like one. the time or the place yes. that I'm at. Like a lot of times, I'd be still at the studio, and I'm saying like I'm a whole. I'm on place. my way. Five minutes. Yeah, like I. <laughs> You lie about the place. That's the number I one think, lie. Uh, That's the number one. Niggas are sending a picture away. in the bed. You lie about that like should be being, from yesterday. Yeah, you, you lie about being with your homies the most. I think you lie about like being with your homies a lot of times. Okay. Does your, so does your girl like your friends? Uh, Yeah, I would Who say Who laughed yeah. back there? Somebody over there. Like, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey House. Oh, that's my manager. I don't know. Mickey, Mickey House. It. <laughs> he said, huh? But, uh, yeah. She does she like do. your friends? She do. Yeah, my okay. girl like my friends. Okay, because that's tough when your girl don't like your friends and then you got to go out but, with them. But, like, it's like, she borderline. She really don't because I spend a lot of time with my friends and they always, like, I spend a lot of time in the studio and my friends always at the studio so she feel like, I be with them a lot, so she don't be liking that. Sometimes she don't even talk to them. Sometimes, so. uh, <laughs> when she love you, she don't really fault, like though. any yeah. of your friends. It ain't, ain't their fault. You yeah, know what I'm, right. I'm not saying you, but sometimes that's a lie too. I was in the studio. But no, nah, I'm gonna just one. speak on it like yeah, as a, me personally. I'm me personally, you gotta balance it. I feel like you just gotta balance it out. You know what Even I'm saying? Like you, you can't dedicate all, all your studio. time to your homies <laughs> in the studio. You just gotta be able to balance it out. You gotta spend time with your girl too, or be able to, you know what I'm saying? Kind of right. like bring her, let her know what's going on in that environment at least, so she trusts you being at the studio. So you gotta you know FaceTime. No, as a bring why y'all keep yelling lies? What y'all think I'm lying about? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, you shouldn't have asked. They are you, no, no, they are you. <laughs> this is He's like, why am I here? <laughs> I want to hear what you say in this one person that's really, really loud. That's Her somebody right there. passionate. Wait, 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 hold on. Let's hold on. see what she says. We're what passion. She say, Yash. We're passionate. Just come on up because I can't hear what the hell you got. Boom, 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 boom. Damn, she really coming up here. Come on she down. She got something to say to your ass. Period. Period. When you say the face, you know damn well y'all gonna lie all the time. Y'all gonna get away with y'all can get away with insane face. I feel like, <laughs> look. I'm he a Libra. <laughs> He a Libra, not a Scorpio. Heard you, heard you, I ain't speaking. And now I was I'm not even speaking on men in general. I'm speaking on myself. I feel like and don't nothing happen by coincidence. Everything happened for a reason. So if I gotta live a True. life every day I'm lying, it's gonna come out regardless. Whatever come out in the wires come in the rinse. So if I'm lying, even if I'm lying and you find out about it, I'm lying, it's your choice to either stay here or, or go. Somebody lied to her. That's the Said problem. Said a man. Yeah. I love him. That's how that's, that's what a man really feels. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I feel 
like, I, 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 I don't lie because I don't want to keep up with no lie. It ain't even no point. I don't even get in a situation where I lie. My girl, trust me, she don't got to be in the house asking me a million questions. If I say I'm there, I'm there. If she catch me lying, she catch me lying. And that's her choice to say. Wait, wait, wait. Are you so mad? You heard? You heard? You heard? Save face how? She's speaking from a personal experience, clearly. She and her feelings. Some, yeah, her listen, Ray you Ray said did her wrong. No, nah, let her finish, She though. mad at Ray Ray. She over here let taking her off Let her finish. I want to hear. What you say? I stretch my head. You don't fuck the bitch that knows that full locker. I stretch the manager. You don't fuck the bitch that live in the building. Listen, 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 listen. That's how I'm telling you. You already got me confused when you said Foot Locker. The manager of Foot Locker who work at Foot Locker, they still in Foot Locker. I'm not even putting myself in no situation. And listen, listen, listen. In my situation, from my past experience, I would fuck the girl that live at Foot Locker. Because if you go come in my house, I guarantee you, if I like you, you're not even going to work at Foot Locker no more. Oh! Yeah, tonight is the best show. This is your best fucking show. Damn. <laughs> you are. Before you make a quick, can I get a discount? <laughs> okay. 30% off, friends and family. <laughs> I'm just letting her All talk. All right, we appreciate you. And All right, th girl. <laughs> thank you. God bless. Thank you. All right, All right. Much. We, we, okay, honey, let's get back to the show. Wrap it up, wrap yeah, it up. I okay. created a monster. Wrap it up, wrap <laughs> it up. you, girl. <laughs> this your fault, L'Oreal. We I got know, you, girl. Okay, we look love you, sis. Look at the audience, look at the audience. We gotta get back to the show. We love you, They said, where the fuck is the same? Off the stage right we now. We love y'all, man. <laughs> no, we love it, but clearly she's going through something. That's the best <laughs> fucking show. She's speaking man. from a personal experience. <laughs> that was clearly, the most Ray Ray that was Ray Ray done broke her heart, child. Ray Ray done said it too is many times. That's the fucking best show. Shout out Give it to up, the For sure, y'all care. Right. That was too much. G Herbo vein was popping out of the neck. <laughs> I'm about to sit in the audience. No, Fuck I, I, this I'm shit. just saying, I don't know. I like, I, I, I just be being me up here. I don't really like when everybody feel like they know something. You don't really he didn't know. Like you that can't, you can't put shit. yourself in nobody's that situation. Foot until shit. Bitch, you you could have said anything else. That footlocker <laughs> shit sent him off. He was, <laughs> bitch. He was like, I bitch. like sneakers. He was like, I'm fucking with no footlocker. Bitch, I don't even shop at Foot Locker. What the fuck is you talking about, bitch? Wait, wait, wait. And she was bitch. trying to give examples. Like, I need a better example. Yeah, this is a better example. Give me a better example, please. Bitch. All right, now, Shana, you have three kids, right? Yes, You're not a bitch. When we you had three you. kids, was, was it like, did you plan for that to happen? Were you like, okay, he about to, let's plan this? Or did it just, he ain't pull out? Um... My first child wasn't planned. I had him when I was like a teenager. I ain't even gonna lie. Mm -hmm. The second two were planned. Okay. I was like, nigga, I'm gonna get this baby out. Wow. Of fuck you talking about? But yeah, I did. So, Amory, have you ever had a guy on you and he was trying to make you have a baby and you could tell? Yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. She's so cool. She like, yeah. Of course. Look at <laughs> Yeah, you you know what a nigga And Marie. A nigga meet you and be like, yeah, I ain't ready for no kids right now. And see the type of vibe you got, and they like, I'm trying to get you pet. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Did you ever fall for it? Huh? Did you ever fall for it? Like, go ahead, baby, come on. Girl, look who you talking to. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, D Herbo, when you had a baby, and your baby is so cute, was that like, oh could you tell, God. did you know when it happened? Did, were you like, oh, oh we made a baby? You. Um, Yeah, I, I feel like when, when my, it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was planned, but I feel like I was I was ready at that point to, ha if I wouldn't even been, you know what I'm saying, living life how I was living if I wasn't ready, you know what I'm saying, to, to take on that responsibility. So, yeah, I feel like I was ready for a kid. Could you tell the night that it happened, like you knew? Uh... Probably the nights, yeah, my, maybe, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say you knew, like, that I was intentionally doing it, you know what I'm saying, but, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> guys will try to, listen, guys try to trap girls all the time, too. No, nah, yeah, I don't think I was... Do. Yes, yeah. they do. That's why I have forced condoms, like, niggas went back, but, oh, what are you saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> wrap it up, B. Nah, now, I, 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 I probably want a baby right now. 
You said what? I want a baby right now. You want one? Oh, yeah. Baby my fever. Career, uh, my career was know, like... When do you know it's time to take the condom off? Oh, they said you going to get it too? Who's that? Yeah. Oh, he said that? Oh, That's Boo Boo right there. Whoa. You know him? Okay. You know him? <laughs> Pass him the douce, because they about to get no. it in tonight. <laughs> it's about hey, to be who, a good who? night. Who? <laughs> who going to give it to you? What? 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 Swallow. What? Hey, what's going on? Oh what kind of audience is this? Hey, she been, she been she waiting what? on that moment. Oh, oh, what is that yeah, come from? Yeah, they had no kids oh, doing oh, that. Oh. She been double dutching, waiting on that moment. Who's swallowing what? <laughs> is it right now? Who's swallowing what? Swallowing Swallow dick. <laughs> Excuse me. I want to. Who's swallowing what? I don't know what that's the competition. This episode might have to be called Swallow Dick. Now, it says, who is this? Who said it? Swallow what? <laughs> who said it? <laughs> who said what? Uh-oh, she stood up. Oh, God. Who said what? Come here. Come here. Let me show you something. Come here. Ah, oh, shit. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, Come here. That's, that's tall. Let me give you the mic. Come here. Come here. No, Come here. Wait chill, a minute. Come here. Uh, back to it. Come here. Sit down, baby. Come here. Sit down, baby. Come here. Sit down, baby. Come here. Come here. All right, security. I play security. Oh, okay. Security. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Okay. All right, let's get back to the show. Um, <laughs> what? When do you know I it's okay say to Chicago, take the condom off? Yeah. Wild as fuck. I love this crowd. You I know this our last show in the club, but God damn. That's why you saved us for last. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Come <laughs> here. Welcome to the show, nigga. Nah, but <laughs> said y'all on both. All right, so, G Herbo, let me ask you this. Has a girl ever given you a blowjob with a condom on? With a condom? When I was younger, yeah. One, like one, I could, I think I could recall like one time I, I was younger, yeah. Did it feel all right? No. No. I <laughs> no is the answer. It no, was trash. Like it. it was probably the most trash head you ever got in your yeah, life. Yeah, I ain't like condom it. head. Can you even come that way? <laughs> I feel like That's you can. That's what I said earlier. Nobody don't know condom, condom head. head. What the prostitution is I going was young, on here? I was probably like 18 or something. What made her decide to do that? Oh, 16 shit. probably. Uh, what? What made her decide to do that? I don't know. She kind of weird, made me f- weird, f- weirded me out too, though a little bit. I don't know. She gave me this fucking See, necklace. Like and she been like I was young. This is around the time like I first started Great. rapping. I was I out of know. town somewhere. I think I was in like Vegas or something. So I don't even remember. I just take that shot. You take that shot. Take that shot. <laughs> let's see, let's see. That's okay, what I'm talking okay. about. <laughs> she heard us like, it's all women and me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, what, what is this? <laughs> Poor guy. Nah, he didn't been through this before. Yeah, he knew what he I'm, signed I'm up for. Man. I'm chilling, he fucks man. with us. He fucks with He's the like, gang. I miss South Simon. <laughs> he fucks with the gang. Yeah. You need a lifeline? You, you okay? Here. Yeah, you know, Sizzle, that's like four of me, man. So he would have been up here crazy. I know. <laughs> All right, now, have you ever, has anybody here ever had an ex who couldn't get over them? <laughs> Damn, I'm getting stopped to this day. Restraining <laughs> order and all. You have a restraining order to this I day? I have a restraining order on somebody. <laughs> Damn, what was he doing that you had to get a restraining order? <laughs> stop playing, I'm to stop. Everything you can imagine. What? Like popping up places? Popping up, calling the people, figuring out booking emails. Um... <laughs> addresses like that's ex- new people like whoever he could find out that I was around he was around them like, and so you took the you went you went and got the restraining order on him yourself like had, to the police I had station. to cause if I have to do something I have to be protected <laughs> right right period right. is that's that an smart, engagement ring on your finger that's a smart young woman there on the other finger congratulations yeah Amory get it girl no. you gotta tell them to eat a dick girl <laughs> <laughs> You heard? Nah, I'm not engaged. But it was a gift, though. That's a pretty gift. A, a nice one. Both of these. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful So, one. I love it. How long ago did you get this gift? Um, I got this gift probably like three months ago. Oh, shit. Because okay. I didn't even recall her wearing that on lip service last time. I went. So, I what went. Is, is that a friendship? Is that a promise ring? Like, what do you call that? 
It's, a, it's, it's a, just a little something special, you know. Yeah, I think it's a promise ring. What do you okay. call it? Yeah, it's a promise ring. Look, what do you call it? <laughs> tell but, us, tell us. G Herbo, you like her man? Huh? Like y'all get along? Y'all know He's who sitting I behind never met us. Him. No, so. I never met him. <laughs> you never met him? No, this this sis, you know. I, I know, but I, that's sis. You should meet her man. Yeah. Like you and I don't know. He ain't never. I don't think he ever been in the studio when we was working, and I ain't never met him. But okay. I get along with everybody, man. I'm a cool dude. Facts. My business is my business. Right. As a female, Hello. being in like in a, when you in an, and you in a group like you got a team full of niggas, you keep your nigga away from them because they really? like, like, tend to be a little ignorant and yes. aggressive and overprotective. Uh, I agree. And they can make things kind of uncomfortable. So you don't no, want to do that to them. Especially like in a game we we in. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is like misinterpreted. You know what I'm saying? I'm a private person. You cannot go on. I have my Facebook and my Twitter since I was like in high school. You cannot find a damn nigga, a damn person. Not, you can't find nothing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because when you let people into your situation, then they um, dictate it. They, they try to manipulate, manipulate you. Manipulate it, yeah. Yeah, they do all type of shit to try to break up what you got. Only person that can break up what we got going on is us. It's you us. feel me? Yeah. If, if something going on, on with Chicago. us, then... Come on, baby. What'd you, you say? He said, come on. Come on, baby. But G Herbo, your stuff is not private at all. Like, you put a... Uh, I mean... I mean <laughs> like, you, you, right. you on the net. <laughs> We be waking yeah, up looking for his shit. Like, what the like, fuck What the family, what the family, <laughs> what the family doing today? Day. We feel like part of the family. What the family doing like today? Like family, talk about the family. The family. family. When we having a reunion, okay? Yeah. What the baby What he doing yeah, today? I just be living my life. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like my real, like, life is not public, you know what I'm saying? But me just having fun and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody Was that. you in the Halloween picture? I can't remember. Oh, uh, no, nah, I wasn't. Uh... <laughs> next year, next year. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's still, he still working his year. way up. I ain't make it this year. Yeah, I gotta be the Jetsons or some shit. You gotta be <laughs> the Jetsons. <laughs> Let me ask you this. How do you know when you're in love? Like, if you have to say... When you take the condom <laughs> off, <laughs> duh. <laughs> a lot of guys don't use condoms from the get, so I don't know if that oh, counts. Oh, well, they nasty. That's true. They right. try. So how do you know when you're in love? Like, what are some of the signs for you when you know you're in love with somebody? Um, I think you know... You know you're in love. Wait, ask me, have you ever been in love? I before? feel like I think you know you know you're in love when when you could be like yourself, like at your most vulnerable state, your most comfortable self with somebody. Mm -hmm. That's when you know that you like love them, you in love with them. You don't mind them knowing like flaws and your most vulnerable state, especially like family, because I got the craziest family. So it's like That's when I you can come bring up, you around them crazy yeah, people. Yeah, <laughs> you know that mean I'm really letting you get to know me because ain't no telling what they're saying when you get around them. I like when you can sleep naked with somebody. <laughs> That too. I ain't gonna lie because I ain't start sleep. Uh, you know, I you, you you basically cracking a joke. You joking with me right now? You know, I was never comfortable sleeping naked. <laughs> I don't know that personally. He said it on no, no. He, he, he said, said it on lip service. Of course, of course. All right, so, so you wait. Hold you sleep naked now? Uh, sometimes. I do. I do. I do. I be sleeping naked with my girl now, man. <laughs> His voice got high as shit <laughs> on a good night. On a good I night. <laughs> so, have you ever cried over a girl? No. Or something that she gave you? Yeah. Of course, of course. <laughs> obviously. Something obviously. that you're wearing right now? Yeah, 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 right yeah, now yeah. I'm thinking that he cried no, that naked dope. with that his chain dope. on. Yeah. No, but that is that a was nice so sweet. It was nice. I gotta say that. That's, that was that's, so, that's, that's that me was again, nice. man, at my most vulnerable state. I'm just, yeah. I don't know, it just that happened. I, just, I ain't gonna lie, I just made a song in the studio yesterday called Gangsters Cry. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> Amory, have you ever had a guy cry over you? What? The stalker. Yeah. Well, she probably said, yeah, right, she got a restraining on somebody. You know that? <laughs> I know he yeah. cried when you did that shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stalk you no more? Yeah, I have, though. Does it? How does it make you feel? Because, you know, for a lot, guys don't feel like they can be vulnerable like that, cry in front of a woman. And I always kind of feel like when a guy cries, he's, like, doing that for a reaction. Yeah. So, um... I'm like a I'm I'm a different type of person. I'm not really a people person because like I'm I'm just not a people person. But at the same time, like when I meet a gal, or whatever, like if he like for me or whatever, and he cry or whatever, it's not like it's not like no, oh you too soft for me. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. everybody cry, everybody go through emotions regardless of any fucking body want to feel like they don't. Everybody go through emotions. Everybody feel shit. 
So yeah, I have niggas that cry. Yeah, and sometimes you just run into a guy that's a crier. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's just a crier. And, nah, I don't know. And it's not. It's not she like taking jabs not, at like, you. I feel like. Crying. <laughs> no, I'm not taking a jab. I'm serious. Sometimes guys are just criers. Yeah, like like, like they not, cry over oh. their mama. They cry over their like, pillow. Like, oh, I'm different. Cool for some pussy. Just be crying, just be but crying. You can't just cry for no reason. I'm different. Nah, I'm di- I've run into a couple of those, man. I'm different as a person than I am in a relationship. I'm different as like a regular person as I'm in a relationship. You feel okay. me? If I'm in a relationship, like you, you see a me of that nobody else see. You know what I'm saying? That's good. I make you feel the most comfortable as you ever could feel in your life. Mm-hmm. Like you, I gotta be your best friend, your homie, your lover, your your girl. I gotta be everything. You feel me? You gotta be comfortable around me. Damn. So is, is this guy you with now? You think he's the one? I mean, he close to it. <laughs> he very close to it. Yeah, he great. He show me, like, he makes me comfortable. I make him comfortable. Mm-hmm. Like, if I'm comfortable around you, if I could be my real self around you, if I could be like, like, it's nothing you can't, can't tell me. It's nothing I shouldn't be able to tell you. Like, I should know your deepest, darkest secrets. I should be able to know you inside and out, your body, your mind, your soul. You, feel? you think there's Ow. things that you don't tell your significant other, though, like, ever? The things that you don't feel like they need to know? No, I feel like... I feel like you can't tell your you family sneaky. that. That one right there. No, she's sneaky. right. She said, don't let your left hand know what your right hand's doing. Right. No, it's, it's that shit. one person. Like, if I, if, I, if I pass the date, it should be one person that know me inside and out. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To be like, this is what she like. This is what she doing. This is what she got going on. Like, I really want somebody. You have that one person in your life that you probably could tell something that you can't tell your sister. Right. You can't tell your mama. You can't tell your daddy. Because they're not going to judge you. Right. That person that, that loves you literally unconditionally. That's very hard to find. Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> this one in the back love her some Scorpios. She just can't 11, 20. 11, 20. What's your birthday? <laughs> oh, okay. Birthday twins. Okay. Birthday twins. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, now we got another top five list. She really ain't are, shut up now. And G Herbo, we're going to start with you. What are the top five things that you say during sex? Oh, God. Wow. Uh, all right, I ain't no talker. You I don't, don't talk at all during sex? I probably just, I don't know. I don't know when this, I guess when, I, when this feeling, I don't, I'm, I'm, I, I, I like say emotions, maybe, ah, some shit like that. I ain't finna you be talking. Ow. I ain't talking. So I, you moan shit. a little bit I might then, say shit. Grunt. Shit, that's the most shit, thing I might shit, say. Shit. shit. That's terrible. Shit. shit. That's, not, got it. that's not terrible. That mean the pussy good. We hear them up yeah. like, shit. <laughs> that pussy, that's some good pussy. The but pussy what do you mean? like to be called in bed? I feel like it ain't enough entertainment if if you got to talk while y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot to focus on. Uh, <laughs> what do you like to be called in bed? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He said don't Herbo. Know. <laughs> <laughs> what about daddy? You, does that turn you I mean, off or on? You can't never, you can't never go wrong with, with that. You That's know the what I'm saying? That's the go-to. I don't really care. It just depends on how you say it. Some people much, don't like it. I ain't it. really in the, I ain't in the talking too much. All right, man. so that top five for you is I'm just shit. I'm doing my thing. I'm, I ain't, I just, yeah. I'm just doing my thing. You can I'm say shit doing. five different ways. All right, Shauna, what about you and your top five things to say during sex? <laughs> yer. 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 That's terrible. Nah. Well, I see from New York. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yer. Don't say yer during sex. Not yer. Yeah. Yer. 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 Whatever you say, don't say that. Don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> no, you don't talk to her sex? No, it ain't like that. I know, I kind of, I, I don't, no, I don't be like, yeah, get that pussy, nigga, get it. I don't like that. You do it really I'll good, be like, though. You did a great uh, job. Uh, <laughs> we don't believe you, now we think you do that. It be too, na- it be just some nasty noises, most, more so than talking. What's yeah, your favorite ad lib in bed? Infamous. Ah! <laughs> Infamous. Ooh, y'all nasty. Y'all not talking. Y'all are nasty. I All really right, don't, Am- I really don't do you, talk. I, Am- I don't you, know. Why you I feel like that's a porn star. You know that baby you know what I'm saying? Really talking I hate, I hate, Look, let me tell you, I put I porn on mute. You I don't want to hear that shit. You? I, do I don't want to hear do that. Too. Give me that big cock. I hate cock. I hate the word cock. I hate the word cock. I hate that. You know what I'm saying? All right, Anne Marie, you put porn on mute? I ain't gonna lie. I'm my own porn star. Like, so you don't watch porn? No, not really. I haven't. She watches her own. I'm going I'm to I'm tell you something. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> oh, nasty. Let's be for Don't get us started. 
What about you, Herbo? You like your porn on mute, or how do you do this? He like I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I ain't watch. I don't watch porn. <laughs> I ain't watch porn since I was a kid. I, I, was I, was I like to hear the <laughs> shit. Right. I, I like to hear all that dumb shit I, in the porn. I was bad, I like though. I was one of the little bad, bad kids that was porn watching now. porn at like six cock. years old. So I ain't watching that shit. So wait, y'all watch porn? I thought. I think Anne Marie's a talker during sex. So what do you say? They don't watch porn either. I ain't gonna lie. Uh 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 uh. <laughs> what do you I'm say? saying, how many Scorpios out there? <laughs> I like to hear you. You like to hear yeah, him. Yeah. I like to hear you. I don't gotta say. I don't I wanna, gotta say too much. Oh, you gonna so you say? You don't ever sing during sex. I feel like. Ah, she says. That's a waste during sex. Come on, Amory. That's a waste on a dick. But you didn't have that it. voice, and you don't sing a little bit during sex. Yes, you do. <laughs> I don't sing, but I like the I like the hymn. You don't get no little melody going or nothing. No, <laughs> no. Look, look, look. Ain't nobody made you and hit them notes. <laughs> <laughs> she lying. No, no ain't I'm... nobody made you hit them notes. I heard them beautiful notes. You hit them. <laughs> if you're not singing during sex, it is a waste. Girl. I'm not gonna sing, but I, I ain't. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I like the talking. I like you to tell me what I'm doing, like, huh? She I be cussing, fuck hey. shit, babe. What there you, you go. doing? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a talker. I don't hey, know how y'all gotta be know quiet. This little like, section right here is right y'all VIP. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yes. We love them. Hey, y'all. They turned off. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not like a. They I don't, need t shirts. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't overly talk. Like, I'm not the type of person they be like, like, oh, in the who, pornos, right but they I like to, to hit my alcohol. mans. Huh? Y'all need a shot. Gigi gonna get y'all a shot. Gigi gonna pour y'all a shot because y'all um, on it. Well, listen, that bottle already hey, telling us because tonight is an all ages, we gotta end this soon. So uh, we really gotta be done at 10, but I'm having so much fun with y'all. We don't wanna leave. All right, last question. Send them babies Last home. question. Send them babies home. For Shauna, for <laughs> Anne Marie, for G Herbo. Okay. Multiple orgasms, okay? Have you ever had multiple orgasms and G Herbo? Have you been squirted on? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. When I was younger, yeah, I used to be wild when I was younger, man. I was having like I, I was sexually active at like 15, 16, like with like grown women, 30 year old women for oh real. Oh my god, that's t that's a crime. Um, that's a crime. Um, we don't promote. Um, what is it called? What is this crime? Save Statutory the children. Rape on Save the children. Lip service. Disclaimer. <laughs> I mean, this is life. I probably We're told y'all that the last episode. Yes, he did. Right. Yes, he did. You did. So, what about and for you? Can men have multiple orgasms? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. yeah I mean, he said, "Yeah, I, I have." Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, not back I, to back. He said, to back. "Shit, shit, shit." I live with my girl, so we comfortable, man. We we do whatever we want. All right. Okay. There you go. That's cute. Amory, multiple orgasms. No. Mm. Percentage-wise, how many times would you say you have an orgasm during sex? 70%, 50%? Like 60. 60? That's not bad. Mm. And you know what? Just so y'all ladies know and guys too, sex can still be good even if we don't have an orgasm. No. Yes, boo. it can. Boo. boo. Everybody say boo. Yeah. Shauna, what do you think? You know, I want to come. Multiple? I want to come. I want to come. I want to come. I want to come. Hey! A bunch of times, bitch. A bunch of times. Get to work. <laughs> no, nigga. I've got to come. I've got to come. I've got to come. I've got to come. Yeah. I just heard one person say it. She said, I love you, girl. Me too, girl. No, this was an amazing I, show, I'm not though. fucking leaving, wait, wait, yo. Before y'all go, yes. before y'all go, I brought some gifts for oh, you ladies. Oh, shit. It better not be a stripper or no shit. I swear to God. Can I get the gifts, please, you guys? Can somebody bring them? Oh, shit. I brought the like ladies gifts. some gifts. Oh, yeah. shit. Congratulations. We've been getting gifts through this whole entire tour. And we love tour. them. Thank you, Shauna. So, we love you. My friend Regina has...
has her own company, Good Sense Oil. So I brought you ladies some really nice body scrubs. Oh, you know, that's nice. going to make you smell really scrumptious. It goes yeah, along with that. a lot of the topics that, right that you've been talking about your entire weed. tour. <laughs> and I love you guys. I thank y'all so much for having me. It has thank been you, a Shana. Ball. Thank you for coming. I wish you all nothing but success in all of your endeavors. Hey, L'Oreal, we want to hit that music. Yes, we okay. do. Okay. Only you if you do a song with me. Sexy ladies, we be watching. <laughs> okay. And Angela, you already know. We love I, you. Oh, and congratulations we on we your list service. Birthday. Thank y'all. Congratulations. Thank Chicago, y'all make some noise for the ladies for coming we through and sending it. This was the best show of the whole it entire was tour. And I just want to say, to you, Abel, you are a brave man for coming yes, up here on the stage. We love Listen, you. It's different live. This is y'all. our Thank guy. Y'all. He mad, chill. He mad, laid back. He always comes through. So I appreciate you for that. Angela, don't make Anne him Marie, cry. I have to tell you. Anne Marie about to fuck somebody up in here tonight. Right. So everybody- <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have to tell y'all, throughout the... We did 12 out of 13 cities. And throughout the entire tour, everybody always asks us, what was the best show? What was the best show? And we had a list, but I'm telling y'all, y'all top that list. Chicago is the motherfucking best show. This was Get the best show out of the whole tour. No y'all did lies. that. And it's for y'all. Y'all did that. We appreciate y'all. Gigi, yes. pour them they fucking shot. They don't want to hear the your The bottle speech. was fucking empty, bitch. Gigi over here crying. Ain't no Get dropping it. Gigi, shake that ass. We drank all that shit. Uh, now we drank it. Hey, hey, come on, y'all got to draw the boat, though. Who going to twerk, though? Because Gigi going to give one more final Gigi, shake that ass. Gigi, hey. shake <laughs> and thank you, Amory, for opening up with us. I know that this ain't really your shit like that, but we appreciate it. Yeah, life is sure. different. We life love you. Different. Thank you for coming. Sure. Love you too. Chicago, thank y'all. We did it. It's over. We I did it. Get away from these Chicago, 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 I love y'all, bitches. Man.